Gloop, you're the early boss. Welcome. Welcome, mister. Mister, mister. Gloop, you're always first. My G. Yo, saucy sad. Welcome, boss. Good day, good day, hi neck, my man. Do I read this Google Doc? Not really in the mood. I don't want a quirky support. That's that's what I do now. Yo, Tizer, good to see you, bro. Dark Blitz with the fat Rafix, Doruson, random brute keykeeper, Ball Stranglers One. All right, welcome to you as well. Welcome, bros. Amazing underscore not. What are these names, guys? Can I not get a quirky support for the first game, please? Zeroth. I'll take it. Zeroth's really good against Kokma Lulu. Not that good to Kane. Why would I pick here? By the way, I think my AD carry is a Seraphine one trick. Or a Fiora one trick, but they meant Fiora. I'm, I'm gonna get to bro. I want last pick. I'm gonna humbly select last pick here. Welcome, welcome, bros. Yasuo. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Our comp is literally shit. Can you really say... I mean, he picks zero support and then complains the comp is shit. <laughs> yeah, Zektop will do a lot of harm. Oh yeah, yeah, that draft is so good. But Yasuo counters Twisted Fate. It has to be Zektop, right? I think it is. What did I play with Lethal Tempo? Oh, I did the own matchup, okay. I'll go this. You're welcome, bros. Tenest is really good to enemy drafts into Twisted Fate, Lulu. Merc's also pretty good. Do I want Tenesti? Ah, uh, it's hard to decide here. I think I should go Tenesti against Lulu and Zack. I'm gonna run Ignite. I could also go Teleport, but I'm gonna run Ignite here. I'm gonna be a little bit more greedy. You're sure what you are early. Yo, identif an unidentified mill. You're welcome. Welcome, everybody. Alright, let's go. Okay, so we play against a Zack Top with Flesh Ignite and Grass. We do have Blackpink Fiora, so we do have the Fiora one trick on the bot lane. I'm not sure here. I hope the Shaker went for AD, but I mean, AP might work as well. Let's see. Hi, guys, there's someone here from the Netherlands. I need help with the thing. I'm from the Netherlands, but I'm not sure if I can help you. I'm gonna go shoot. Yo, Tarkuts! Tarkuts! My goat. I'm gonna say Tarkuts. Alright. Yeah, Zaktop is disgusting, but it's nerfed. Did you guys know that Zack had 8 health regen? But it's nerfed to 4 now. Hey, good morning, Piggy. You're looking very pig. Thank you. I think. I mean, we don't really have a strong level 1. I guess I think K might invade. Welcome, bros. Since I'm watching your stream, I'm pronouncing the end. Like, do I say that? And? Do I say that? I wasn't even aware of it. Let me get my word down. Yeah, I probably do say that. Oh yeah, no, Rex healing was way worse, by the way. But any champion with like infinite sustain in top lane is disgusting. Like Zack and Rek'Sai, both are so disgusting. All right, Alois Piggy. I'm just saying, I appreciate it. How many points do I have in Riven? Oh, so like four million-ish, probably. Mm, the build this game is a little tricky. I can go for Hydra, but Revenant's Hydra is pretty shit. So I think I just go Eclipse on the sky. And I can see from there. I can also try a new build that I've seen as he go. And he rushes Cleaver into Sun and Sky. I might try that. Let's see. If I can get priority, I will look for it. He's late to the wave, so I can get for priority for free here. That skin is dope, by the way. Is that a new one? Skin looks amazing. 
Oh god, to play to that trade pattern. Kane is fighting the top right because we didn't see him start on blob off. Ah, that sucks. And normally any champion I could dive here, but not the Zac. Kane is here. Oh, he actually started blob off. Oh, I just didn't see it. Okay, he did start blob off. I could have recalled here, but I'm too. Too full on HP. If he Q's you and auto attacks you, we can sink it with his E like he did on the mains there. Okay, I get his passive. I mean, I can maybe get one of these here. I did take two turret shots for it, I'm not sure it worked. Definitely not worth. The wave is pushing back into me though. His wave is in a shit position. I needed one minion to get my level four. I should play for that. Man, I hate Zack passive. All good though. I don't think he can push this in before I'm back. Hmm. Yeah, the second turret shot was with cocked me, guys. And he had a really good flush queue there. Do I flush to freeze the wave? No, he does get it then. Ah! I should just recall. I'm greedy pig. Recalling was the play there. That was a really good spot. Alright, all good though. No sums. We're fine, we're fine. Kane is bot. Yo, Jerome? Okay. Where is he? Is he waiting for bombs? <gasps> Triple cloth armor! Nah, your mom is a pig. I lost my cannon too. Can we dive? I'm down to dive, kind of. I can't make it more clear of what my intention is here. This is phase not six. Yes! I'll play Traco. Uh, how much gold do I need? I want this wave to stay alive, so push it into me. Because this next wave also walks to turret range. Yes! American school build? Bro. Oh. Mm -mm. I'll try Cleaver Rush. Because he's going triple cloth armor, by the way. So I'll go Cleaver Rush. He's still level 5. I mean, they see the Shaker with Twisted Fate ult, so... The wave is frozen here. Yeah, I lasted it! <laughs> you saw my ult attack cancel and then... Ult W to last it, that little piggy kill. Don't type minus one because I physically could not have gotten it. 
Bro, why would I help him do that when I can, like, play with my freeze here, though? I'm sorry, but I gotta set up my own reset. I gotta poop me first. I gotta poop me first. I'm sorry, Shaco. Hey, why did you type minus one on the last shot? And not even, like, not even one. It's like a million minus ones. Alright, well, I hope you guys uh, suffer from uh, cold food tonight. Kane is both side. Allow me to go for this and the potential proxy as well. Dude, how dizzy is this guy getting though? Wait, they killed Kane again. Okay, I'll let that mean slide. Here we get a reset, baby. He's that. Okay, okay. I'm gonna be ready for this TF. Nimbus! Nimbus! Now we need 15-50, so now I'm gonna stay. Yeah, it's really massive for mid lane too. Okay, so now this wave is gonna give me a 100 gold that is just short, unfortunately. And uh, so we need to stay for two waves here and then somehow get a reset in. I spent my reset opportunity here to roam to mid, but it is worth it. Did spend all that ignite, but we're in a good position. Their only potential win condition right now is their cook mall. Alright, this is a cannon wave, and so... He has to decide here, is he going to slow push or hard push? I'm going to reset. He might get a plate, he's going to hard push, that is his correct choice. It's just better for me to recall here. I have Cleaver now. Next item is going to be Sundered Sky. I saw as he built this, I checked this open GG before I went live and I wanted to try it out, so let's go. So sad. Uh, the thing against Darius is you need to learn how to Q-Delay. And W auto tech EQ out. Those are the two trade patterns you use into Darius. Run! Yes! No minus one for the piggies in chat. Zek gonna play, but I can maybe retaliate with on my own here by hard pushing this wave because Zek needs to set up his reset. Let's go. How do you Q in place? Well, you just Q on top of yourself, kind of, but you can't really Q in place unless there's a target in front of you. Then you can Q into place. Like I said, I can retaliate with the plate of my own here. He is Bramble and Bamis. Lots of honey. Plus one, my goats. No, you did not miss the chat. A pass, a patch one down. I'll do a little later in the stream. I can kill lane now. I have 30 haste. Wait, that hit me? Call me him. Call me him. Bim. Bum. Bop. Suck my nuts. That was clean. Alright. Anybody plays my wall up? I'm probably Thank you, Bobby W, for the sub here. Appreciate it. Hence this for a minute as well. It's nacho cheese. I thought it was honey. My bad. Alright. I think I just buy tier 1 boots and go for the call fields, get more haste too. Beautiful, beautiful. Or double CS. Lovely. He's mid now. Oh, he is tilted. Care. Enemy top unstable. My drone. Uh, the Ruben Zek matchup is Zek favored, but there's ways to beat it. I did die early game like a piggy, but then I made an amazing play with the Shaco, and then the game went pretty good for me. Trade pants have to be well. You gotta know that do not get hit by his Q, because when he lands his Q onto you, he can follow it up with his E uh, consistently. Now the only thing I have to do, guys, is shut down this Kogma piggy.
It's looking though. I'm gonna play for tier 2 and then I'll start roaming. They take the wave, it's so massive. Ooh. I'm still expecting the lead, bros. Wait. Two items strong. We probably go Mercs. Prof and Hydra. Let's see. Kill all the way. Waiting for his flash. It's not coming. Double. <laughs> Don't say it. It's okay. You can say it. Snowballing anyways. You guys can say minus one. You keep murdering though. I'm double zexy as problem. So I thought. So I thought. Figgies. Yo, Frappy. Wait, can we get this turn before 15? We get the extra plate gold too? Yo, we don't have to fight. I'm gonna play for another tier 2 turret because Zek has stopped playing the game. I actually got hit. I'm a pig. I have ult, so no point to play. I'll just recall. Do I get Mercs? I shoot against Lulu and TF. And then Profane, probably. For one shot potential. Alright, do that again, see what happens with Fate. Like, final warning. <gasps> yeah. I don't have a lot of haste, though, huh? So, what about Shoujin? Shoujin, not bad either. Because I don't have a lot of haste. I can go either Shoujin. I didn't mean to buy this. I meant to buy a long, or a long sword. Okay, it's either going to be Sojin or Profane here. That cane is tilted, man. We have a wave here that I can we dive with. I'm actually just going to pressure bot though. I think if I pressure that enemy team legit cannot play. I'm moving here, I don't CP. Do I eat pig? No, I actually don't. I don't eat pork. So, uh, if we... <laughs> if you are what you eat, in fact, I'm not a pig. I am your mom. No, I'm kidding. Okay, let's focus. HP regen changes is a massive nerf, yes. Oh, they saw me. I got murked nasty though. Yep, murked nasty baby. That's why we went for the murks and for the nasty. Exactly for that stupid ability. You sold it. One thing I gotta keep in mind, by the way, guys, this is a little uh, thing. Remember that Bramble Fest only reduces your healing when you auto attack him. So if I don't auto attack Zack in skirmishes like that, my Summit Sky still heals me for full, and I'm pretty sure I never auto attacked the Zack there, and so I was still healing to full. Yeah, his Fiora got uh, bent. Imagine their AD carry just being 3 and 0, having to play against Seraph Seraphine the whole game, and then you play against Alois and then with 5 million gold. GG. Yo, King Top. We got all tier 2 turrets at minute 17. 
So there's no Baron yet to play for, so what you do at this stage of the game, guys, when you've already taken all the tier 2 turrets on the map, is you play for Scythers and Jungle Camp mainly. Unless you can get Temple for tier 3 turrets, but those are very rare. So you still want to push out the Scythers and then just deny their jungler from farm, because taking their Jungle Camps makes me stronger and the cane weaker. No, Bramblefest only works if he... If, oh, what's it called? If um, I attack him. If he finishes up to Thornmill, then if he CCs me, it also applies. But if he just has Bramble, if I don't auto-attack him, I actually will not get reduced healing. Oh, mama. Oh, GG. I just gotta make sure I don't give the 1k to uh, Kog'Maw over fine. Wait, that knockoff was so weird. Did you guys see that? That knockoff lasted like for one nanosecond. I have double tenacity. And my... My brain is fried. I am a pig. What does that mean, double tenacity? It doesn't mean I'm immortal. Nice assist, though. That's what I meant to do. Reset this gold. Give my set a full gold. Ooh! Oh guys! We got a pink worth in the jungle too. Yeah, I cancelled the Lulu knock up there, if, if you guys noticed. I saw it. Doro saw him with the exclamation mark fat. Oh, your mom. I've went to the gym four times already this week, if you include Sunday. I went Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and today already. I went before the stream. I'm finally going actively. Also, I made an amazing lunch. I'm, I'm, like, I, I'm gonna flex. I made an amazing lunch myself. Look at it. Wait, I'll pull up a picture. Okay, top, thank you for the 100. I have something to confess, Mr. Strimmer. Uh -huh. Yesterday, I didn't want to play Riven against Vayne. Makes sense. So I picked Twisted Fate. Am I banned material? No, you're totally valid. Hope you stomped him too. If you wash your hands after, then you're good. Okay, guys. How good was my self-made lunch? Brunch, brunch. I didn't have breakfast. It's some eggs with burger. Okay, some eggs with minced meat. Then some mango, kiwi, avocado, and I don't know what the red fruit is called. Lots of fruits and then eggs and some meat. Bro, I feel amazing. I feel amazing. Legit, my diet before, like, the first months of this year was so shit. I've improved it. Genuinely, energy difference is crazy. Yo, who's next on the underrated master? It is going to be Riven. Do you like pesto? It's alright. Nice pick from Google search. Yeah, bro, it's my table downstairs, you pig. Put this on stream? What do you mean, Tar? Any Urgot's vids coming? I'm down to do how to climb out of lower more with Urgot. Guess what I've been working on, guys? Some matchup guides! Some matchup guides coming soon! Yes, do you have a clip with a knock-up? I'm actually curious what happened. Also, Ryan is about to... Uh, scam me. I have 300 points currently, and I can get 1800 points if I buy the pass. And I need 2200, and I can get Mythic Essence. Options, options. Alright, what happened to the Lulu ult? Look the Lulu ult. My Q3 buffer cancelled the Lulu ult, it looks like, almost. What? Your Q3 is always cancelled, like, it's not an unstoppable ability. My Q3 is not unstoppable, it looked like a Yon Q3 here, almost. Yon Q3 would function like this. So this is a buff that works, or this is a bug that works in our benefit, by the way. This is, this is a complete bug. You know how Yon's E, 
or Yon's Q3 or Yon's ult is like unstoppable. It can like um, still go through CC. That's what happened here. Because my input denied the knock up. Normally I should be knocked up and CC'd. Not sure. Streamer privilege. Yeah. Yeah. Is the orbs not better value? Well. Oh, wait, what? Do I have to accept? No. Uh, you can still, what's it called? Uh, buy orbs then, if I get this right. But with Mythic Essence, you can always buy... Volibia! No, you can sp buy some good skins. But I already have the Prestige Driven skin, though. Wow, guys, I can buy orbs Essence for one at a time. That is so good, by the way. That will take me, like, a million years before I'm done with that. You can buy some good skins with this, I suppose. The old gemstone skins. Man, my loot is so grim. I have 35 keys but no chests. Life of a one trick, bro. Yo, Krenokas, welcome. Yo, what's up with the skew times? Put me in the game. We're getting pretty close to challenger, by the way, guys. It's 860? I mean... We're like 6 wins off. 7 wins off. 7 wins off, yeah. I miscalculated. Alright, let's get it. And then once this is done, this client 2 challenger, I want to do unranked 2 master on Riven. I'll do full unranked 2 master on Riven, probably. And then the next unranked 2 master that I'm considering doing would maybe be Urgot. Urgot is a champion that I have in mind. Uh, when will I make the Korean decision? It's not completely up to me. I really want to go to Korea, but it's also with the other streamers. If the other streamers decide not to go, then I probably also won't go. Because, again, I don't want to travel by myself. That's kind of the main takeaway, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, there's a chill video to watch. What can we watch? What can we watch? Wait, Iraqing is streaming on YouTube now. That's interesting. <laughs> Mm. Alright, let's just start signups. Should be a good one. Yeah. Hey mate, getting back into League after 5 or 6 years. Didn't know new Pantheon, Mundo or Set, so thanks for your vids. Hey, I appreciate it bro. Thank you for your comments. I'll up the sound for you guys. Because we're in a long SQ time. Yeah, I can explain my top loss when building with Riven. I do that, though. Now, I think Twitch is already removed from Korea. Oh, my days. That's poggers. That was clean. Bro, that was so ridiculously clean. It's not even Iro King. In the middle of all of them with the W. Goes back to the mean. Ults here. Is the Evelyn. Well, like, how do you even keep track of all of this at once? Who is this guy? He's faker. Goes back to the means when they're all committed onto him. So his ult lands actually only on one target. And he landed this E somehow on this guy here as well. Jace gets baited. That is such a clean penta kill. LOL! Just an average day at the job. Okay, never mind. That guy does not care. It's the average I really play for that guy. Wait, I need to ban Renekton. I dislike playing with Viego Jungle. We also ban nothing. Vayne only. Guys, 
Gotta admit, I feel for the Chindamar. <laughs> okay. He just howled, bro. Respect it. It's Burger King. Uh, it can still be Jack's Jungle Silas mid here, by the way. Let's see. Let's see. It could be that they still have to pick jungle or top lane. The Delta on TT, I'm not sure, bro. Money, money. Yo. The challenge is so close. Just a few more games to go. Let's Thank push you. through. Good luck today. Thank well you, played, bro. streamer. Yo, hi, Nick. Thank you for the six. Thank you for your generosity, man. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, boss. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't, I didn't think they picked our top laner yet. I'm fine playing against Kisante. It's a fine matchup. I'll stick with Tenasty here, and that's also because Kisante has multiple forms of CC. They can pick, uh, uh if they, p this Silas picks like Renata ult. Uh, there are some CC, right? Nautilus has some CC, also a lot of knockups. Jax ult, so it's good to stick with Tenasty. I think I'll go scaling health as well. Flash ignite is fine. So similar setup that did we that. Similar setup that we took against the Zac here, but now we play against Cassante. Kind of a similar matchup anyways. Yo, Lowas. Yes, I explained it here. Alright, let's go, bros. Alright, get back to the music too. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, we are upgraded again into Grandmaster game. This comp, I'll need some HP, by the way, guys. They have a lot of burst, right? They have burst in their mid jungle. Silas and Jax are pretty melee burst heavy champions. Reason and I same for Vars and Nautilus. Strong. One thing for five. I'm doing amazing Murder Burn Express. So let me explain here quickly, right? My build path. They have a lot of burst in their kit and a lot of melee champions. Nautilus, Cassante, Jax, Silas play melee range and are burst heavy. So I'll need HP. Then they also have Varus ult, Nautilus ult, which are kind of like point clicks to see onto me, right? So I need, again, I need HP. So my starting item most likely will be similar to last game. I'm going to go Cleaver, and I'll probably follow that up with a Sunder Sky, and then I can adapt. I could go Sterox, I could go Sojin, I could go Eclipse perhaps, but I probably want to try Cleaver into Sunder Sky again. Okay, lower the music a bit. I will, let's, like this, it's fixed, sorry. It's because I still had it louder from the... I still had it louder from... What's it called? Watching the signups. <laughs> Voice task came into the chat. Pantheon is absolutely broken. Pantheon is broken. I see you, bro. Yo, Lero, welcome. Waddles, GMS. Into neutralizes. Very often there's not much you can do. Into Cassandra, I actually will play Longsword 3, especially because he's playing without Flash. Yo, l Army. Good to see you, brother. Abut 77557. Welcome. Thank you also for your kind words. And again, welcome. But I'm going to tell you one thing, okay? And this is a mindset you need to internalize. You are not bronze because of your teammates, okay? You need to be self. Well, there's going to be games where your teammates play bad, okay? That happens to me in those games too. Ultimately, all you can do is look inwards and look at your own performance. And the more you do that, the better you'll become and you'll be better in those scenarios. So I would highly recommend to focus on yourself and perhaps to try a one trick. All right, caddy underscore top. Let's go, bro. Thank you, Mr. Freaky. Any Russian translators? Sub boss on Alois. Yo. What did he say? I want to see what you're playing with here. Hi. <coughs> okay, let's go.
I'm not sure if it's E start or Q. W. Never seen that. Wait, I should select the W and just kill him. Wait, I'm an idiot. If I flash W on top of him, kill W on top of him, he's just dead. Jack's pathing into Bolt. He did wrap off Krug's pathing into Bolt, so I don't have to be worried about Jack's. Two melees here, and I'm gonna get my level three. Oh, I shouldn't get hit. He gets level two. If he doesn't have W right now. If he selected E, I'll flash on top of him. Or Q, rather. But he probably selected E. By the way, he's playing. He did select Q. If I just flash on top of him, he would have been dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll trade it here. I just grieved. Wave is fine, though. Man, that's just so ugly. I just grieved so hard. By the way, in this matchup, you're not really allowed to fall behind. I needed one minion for my level 4, similar to the Zac. I just monster grieved this, by the way. I took a turret shot, then I walked into him, and I didn't flush his W. That was just, that was just shit. Shit in every regard. Shit in absolutely every regard. At least Wave is coming back into me, so... I have that, but... And I'll do this to at least force out his TP. Okay, he's gonna lose at least the full cannon wave. So we'll be at an XP. The cancel's massive. Very nice run by Marunata. I get saved. Marunata saves my game. Thank you, bro. I am unhappy with how I played my early, but I get salvaged by my support. Thank you, my G. I will not let you down anymore. So now the question is do I rush Cleaver or do I go for Eclipse? I did get enough gold for this. The purchase here is very awkward. I'm gonna like phage this, right? I'll try Cleaver. I wanna try it more. What I did with the wave is still really good though. The way I cancelled this recall and froze the wave is still what allowed the Cassante to die there in the first place, right? So in terms of pain me I still played it well, but my mechanics were a little bit shit. Uh, that chisel, I probably wouldn't, and that is because Riven has no sustain as a top laner, and is very easy to punish, however, if you're willing to invest in time, Riven is by far one of the most fun and rewarding top laners to play, so, if you play Garen as a, uh, into, when you're just coming into top, it's gonna be way easier to have, like, a stepping stone, and you gotta be aware that if you play Riven, it's going to be a harder process, because you need to invest a lot more time, so, it's a matter of choice there for you. Ooh. Not that big, big, I would say it, big boss, big boss. And I'm basically dead even here. Hello guys, I'm Aloy, today we are gonna do a coaching in the top lane. You laying here. Wow, 
he just... I didn't even do damage. Felt like I didn't even do damage. I let my team down. King top tank for gifting Eric. Oh. I just get destroyed. I thought I'd win after the Kudele and the Conqueror stacks, but no. Alright, guys, I'm gonna switch the game plan. I'm not gonna fight him anymore. And that's because my button is heart stomping. And my Jinx also had skills. Sorry. I'll just skill even. I won't fight him anymore. I consciously took the fight there. And uh, yeah, I let my team down there. My botlane is winning, so I'll play for that win condition now. I'll stop being greedy. Okay, Jax is here. He took one grub, as we can see here. He's freezing the wave, that's a problem for me. I'm a full level behind. It was pretty stupid for me to fight him last time without having my ignite. I think that also made a massive difference. I'm gonna look for the plant on river now. There we go. I'm match level 8 here. I could fight him, but I probably shouldn't risk it because my team is already winning without me, right? So I should be a disciplined piggy here and not fight him. My mind is telling me to fight him, though, chat! I want to if I should fight! I want to change the visual fight! Give me my Levoid. I can't convince myself to go back. Why did you guys tell me to go back? NINE! What have I done? Bad anybody that type 1. Nobody even type 1. Everybody type 2. I'm just the only disgusting f pig here. And this ghost lasted for so long so I die again. I did everything I should do. 5 gold for me. It's gonna help me get my cleaver. I am such a pig. Just drink water and chill. Drink water and chill. Alright, my bottle is absolutely surfing it. My mid lane is as well. If only top lane didn't in that hard, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I did you that. wanted to teach us how to play yeah. from behind all yeah, yeah, yeah. and business. Yeah, exactly. That was the top of the sister. I'm not a convicted criminal. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna dip out from that guy, by the way. He is monstrosity. Level 10. He owns me. Damn, getting solo killed three times is embarrassing, though. Especially after the rum I got from Renata. I am a pig. And every time I started the fight, by the way, not him. Oh good. Oh, come down there. Oh, my team is just the goats. Like my team is just simply too good. Only problem? No, there's no problem. Chilling. Chat type 1 if Alois is a piggy. Type 2.
It's not that to kill me to expand this lead. Oh, he TP'd. Yeah, that's what I was about to think. If just Renata dies, I can get multiple plates here too. The Jinx must stay alive. That's the sneak loot. I do get two plates here. Go see the other boots. Yo, anonym hit. Good to see you, boss. Oh my word, down because I'm switching into this. I mean, I'm not weak. He's also getting mercs. He's building a lot of magic resist. But Jinx is really fed. I'm not sure if we should build this much magic resist. But of course, because he has armor in this, I suppose. Looks like he's going Kanik. My Jinx is really fed. Yo, Fari doesn't take the blue buff, I will, by the way. And there he is. He got a red buff, so I'll just uh, match by taking the blue buff. That's fun. It's fine, guys. This game, my job is literally just survive and then we'll win. Unironically. <gasps> Fruit! <laughs> Sorry. 40 seconds for ult, and then we win. Well done, bro, climbing to that elo, mister. Adinga dinga. Adinga dinga. Adinga dinga dinga. Yeah, it's a boring game. We're playing against Kesante. What do you want me to do? I got destroyed. Sorry, bro. What do you want me to do? Run it down? I lose. <laughs> this is your fault for saying boring, by the way. Who said it? Soma Hunter. That's why we are playing safe. Surprised I could flash after the ult. Am I getting dove? Assist over for me. Uh oh, mama. Goodbye. Hope you had fun! Hope you had fun, Soma, Hunter, and L. Interactive gaming there. Hope you had fun, bro. <laughs> I fell for the getting W into the wall. Hi, Alois. Just wanted to say that your content is great. It has been very helpful for me to climb out of lower. Elo, keep up the great work. Beat down bunker. I am glad to be of service. Oh, shit. Are we winning? Throw the pebble in his face. Oh, yeah. Get that little piggy. I guess I just go board. Not boring anymore! Good job, streamer! Pound your brutal like I'm gonna pound you. Nothing. Nothing, actually.
Hi Alois, after Hi. watching you for the past 14 months I've been able to apply fundamentals to my opponents but eventually run down games cause I'm a piggy as you, yeah. cheers. Even hundreds, I'll use it to buy some flowers for your mom. Thank you kindly. Look at that top gap right there. Top lane matters. Top lane matters. He said it himself, not me. Oh, it feels good to finally get carried some game though. Like, I'm gonna be honest, man. I feel sorry for this Cassante. Genuinely, I feel sorry. I know what it's like. What it's currently going through. But I'm getting my elo. I got solo killed three times, baby. My team is just absolutely swerving everywhere. Usually I'm in his shoes though. Nine! My mom would love some flowers for you. Look me up, bro. No, I'm kidding. Solo killed three times, exclamation mark, fundamentals. Yeah, at least use it properly, bro. Just doing a quick first introduction with the Silas there, allowing him to land the E. Oh, mama. There's an Altus behind me, isn't there? Well, they got me. Hey boss, Gwen Main trying to learn Fiora. Yo. Is it normal to get frustrated learning a new champ? Yes, it is. Very often when learning a new champ, you're going to be trading your LP for the experience that you gain. Yes, it is. It is. No range, I'm doing good. Thank you for 100, by the way. Ace Trainer Meeks. I appreciate it. My Jinx has infinite edge in base. Honestly. You know how, guys, you know how you can quickly improve at any champion you play, though? By applying fundamentals! Genuinely, though, if your fundamentals are good, it's going to be easier to apply and learn any new champion. That is a fact. That is a fact. So, um, exclamation mark course. I'm just humbly suggesting it. AKA, I'm shameless plugging it. Don't worry guys, the most important fundamental is to get the better teammates. I am 1 of 5 and getting carried by doing absolutely nothing. Um, not pretty chill actually for once. Say the words Bart. Bart? Bart? Hey, where are you? Not a good time, boss. Even though I'm 1 of 5, I'll still proudly yell fundamentals, okay? By the way, guys, I am working towards releasing my matchup or my Riven matchup course. It is really getting along nicely. I'm extremely happy with the videos I have right now. I have, yeah, I mean, it's getting together nicely. I, I'm aiming to release it by the end of this month, the first release. Oh, are we dead? Oh no, it's Skarner. Why did he just one shot that guy? Oh, mama. Well, Jinx is gonna pop off. 
Plus one. Uh, she has uh, 5.2 attack speed. Uh, she has uh, 5 attack speed, chat. Uh, <laughs> uh, what am I hearing? Uh, right, guys? I see nothing wrong. Do drinks. Thank you for the carry. Thank you so much. That's very good. Well, one of five. Top matters. Top matters. It's crazy that I won this game, in all honesty. I did not deserve to win this game. Boys. Hello, is there going to be a discount on your courses with the release of the matchups? Most likely not. So yeah. I might put the um, matchup course on discount, right? So the Riven course, but not the other ones. Piggy. Because I'll also update new content to the already existing guides. I'm increasing the value of them in that sense. So I think it makes no sense to put them on a discount then. Felix, thank you for the 100, bro. Is this your favorite skin at the moment? Probably yes. How are you doing, Felix, bro? Thank you for the 100. Mm -hmm. Thank you for calling me a piggy. You know what, guys? I gotta quickly run to the toilet. So I'll turn on the signups real quick. Be right back. Thank you so much, M. Pooley. Be right back, okay? Damn, I just came into that. That's Tilter. That is a Tilter. I'm gonna decrease my cam size and put it here. GG. <laughs> every, time, every time I see this guy now, I just get reminded of the one guy that called me his brother. <laughs> Too funny, actually. Too funny. Thank you, Johnny. Appreciate it, bro. Uh, noble spawn. It is normal that you lose means after the third wave crash. You are the only way to circumvent it is by TPing back. That's crazy. <clears throat> Pienta. Thank <laughs> you. 
Top this GG. Thank you, LPL AD King77 for the tier one. I appreciate boss man. <clears throat> Which one of your courses do you think has the largest impact on skill? Skill is what? The fine skill. I'm not I'm not sure what you mean with skill. The way I see the courses is that they will improve your progression curve towards your desired goals simply because everything that I've learned in the past eight years from being a changer player, I've summarized in those courses. So um I would see it not so as a as a like a thing to improve your skill, it will increase your knowledge immensely, so giving you an edge over your opponent. Most of the concepts that I explained there are not used by at least 95% of the player base. Just understanding your level up timers exactly or knowing when to do an early game crash will just simply give you a massive edge over your opponent. So it's a matter of like learning the concepts individually and then applying them um, in harmony together, right? Like jungle tracking, reset timers, wave repulsion. If you do those things in harmony, you'll have a bigger edge over your opponent. So it doesn't increase your mechanical skill, it increases your knowledge, allowing you to just be a lot more consistent in your gameplay. And then if you're wondering which one you should start with, I would always recommend the laning phase course because you play your laning phase every single game. And the, um, how do you say it? The efficiency of your mid to late is also a direct result of how good your um, early game went. Into Gragas, I'm playing TP lately. I think with Ignite, you're just too vulnerable. And I'll go for, <laughs> I'll go for the ability haste as well. I think it's more consistent. Um, and then I can go... I like to go this probably. Scaling. What about clicks and wiggle? Well, I cannot teach you how to click and wiggle. That's the thing. Courses go to but covers higher level concepts. That's not necessarily true, Johnny Plays, because if I were to play in bronze or silver, I still apply the same concepts. If you look at the set video that I released yesterday, I legit utilize the same concepts and that's how I'm able to legit destroy my opponents in silver and bronze as well because they have they don't have that knowledge right so if i utilize it correctly i just have a message enter with them permanently okay uh into gragas we start this shield we have teleport we're looking to skill right i'm not playing flesh ignite i um we have a scaling setup so we're gonna play to that uh i probably don't like i, I don't like revenus that much anymore so i'm probably gonna skip out on revenus all right i'm gonna turn some music on again Oh yeah, yeah, I can't teach you how to last hit or teach us how to dodge. That, that, But the thing is, that's not really... I don't feel like those tangible things are really um, teachable through a course. Um, yeah, that's the thing. I don't think I can teach you how to click in the game, you know? It's, it, it's so play by play or moment by moment as well. So that's why I find it hard to make like a guide around that. Those are things you just get better with at time. Yeah, I agree. I don't want to give him any free uh, mana for procs. Smear soul, you're a goat. I'll play all the rules. Uh, I want to do education content on the rules too, eventually. I could go e start in this matchup, by the way. They have a Jarvan, you might look to early gank me. I always like to push into Gragas. I'm not gonna select any ability yet. Looks like he's playing not to play aggressive with auto attack E, so I'll select Q. And I do a second wave creation. That is because Gragas struggles farming on the turret in the early game. That's alright. I just wanna farm for perfect CS. This Gragas is not good. First I... blood solo bolo, I gift 10. Yo, but with this setup, how? I'll do my best. I can instantly tell in the first wave if Gragas is good or not. This Gragas is not good. He's already missed multiple opportunities to E auto attack me. It's all good. I 
unlucky. He outspaced my W. Maybe he is faker. He's running out of mana slowly. Still pretty good in CS. Oh, that's ugly. Take it a bit. Plus 10 on King's Chalingay if completed. Bro, but how do I solo kill him with this shoot TP, guys? Might as well say, I'll give you a million bucks if you... Nah, you guys are gonna make me go and die here again. Ah, oh, by the way, I'm dead. YO GUYS PLAYED IT ME! Wipe's good though, he only has 8 CS. Dude, I've legit died every single game here. One, the last three games in a row, I have died on this exact spot with one minion from level four, and then I die, by the way. Legit! Now I'm really upset with my gameplay, by the way. You guys have no idea how unironically mad I am. Why did I just take a turret shot? It's because I'm EMOTIONAL! It's okay. I'll flash out to be. Do I get, similar to last two games, a saving Guardian Angel that's gonna save me from this position? Look at my CS gap though, like I'm absolutely gapping him in CS, it's just that for some reason I died, not sure exactly why I died. Like if Trondo comes here he's dead by the way. Especially if we can bait out this phase for sure. I'll let him farm with me here. He doesn't have to though, but hey, nice. Dude, why do I legit have the same games over and over and over and over and over? I die, the wave bounces back, I freeze it, my jungler comes back topside, we kill. And now I'm double CS. <laughs> <laughs> I am a spastic. Anyways, moving on. I, uh, Demix Hell. I have an unranked to masses on Yon. Completely uploaded to YouTube. I highly recommend watching that. For some reason, this is how the last three games have Hello, gone. Guys, I'm Man from White, they gifted to 6 beat. No solo, no bolo, no first blood. Yes, I didn't. Unlucky. I do have flesh advantage though, so I'm gonna solo bolo him. Thank you, Smear Soul. I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it, bro. How did I could just kill them 2v1? Wait, it's face rush. You fat mother effing pig. This is over for me. No FR. Oh, he didn't take a third shot. But his ease on cooldown, his ease on cooldown. If he lands it, he doesn't get the refund. Well, you have to do it, buddy. Thank you, that works. <coughs> hey, any grind?
Gragas players in my chat, by the way? Type one if you play Gragas. Type one if you play Gragas in my chat. Mods. You know what to do. He plays the ward. I'm gonna wait for the 350 now. Oh, wait. We have winning bolt again. Hey, guys. Most important fundamental. Die at level 3. So enemy bot lane feels like they are stronger than... Like, that they're winning the game. And then they start inting. And your bot lane wins consistently. I found the mentals. Oh, he's gonna freeze the wave for me? Ain't no way. I want to kiss you on the forehead. That guy deserves a kiss. A good night kiss. A five course meal for dinner. Probably some additional things. He says, I come after. GG. GG. Thank you, member of my friend 100. F King 5D Chess. Yep. Just uh, let your bot lane win and get the jungle to do this for you. Like, I I'm getting king treatment today. I am getting king treatment today. I have to do nothing and I win the game. Dude, if that trundle asks me anything, I will say yes. Almost anything. Almost anything. He's like, you know what? Fuck that shit. Get it out of there. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> this actually looks so lame. You just look at it. Get out of here. Oh no, no, but hey, 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 hey! That's not the deal. That's better. That's better. Watch your sidestep. Kidding. Well, I got the skill for free. <laughs> yeah, I would say GG2, bro. I would say GG2. My CS is still really good. Next wave is gonna give me enough gold for Eclipse and I based. Oh, wait, I already have enough gold. What am I bugging about? I already should have reset. I thought I needed uh, the 900 setup. Hello, guys. I'm Aloy. Today we are gonna do a coaching in the top lane. Bro, I hate that Gragas E knocks you up, then stuns you pretty much. And then also slows you. It's like making me pregnant. And... Whatever. Thank you so much, Lotho. For the tier 3 for 13. Lotho. Wait for the tier 3. I appreciate it. We need mercs. Then win. On our little though, guys. It feels amazing to get these good junglers and bot lanes two games in a row. Like, actually, I am so blessed. It's been a while that I've had such good teams on repeat, by the way. And Lozina, when are you gonna land a W on Gragas? When are you gonna shut your mouth, bro? Woo! Woo! So my movement. They call me uh They call me a pig. That's what they call me, honestly. Look at that shutdown. Saw me, baby. Saw me. Some days are good days, Kaisa. Every day is a good day. It's what you make of it. Until you are on loser's queue, that day is probably shit. Anyways, you go to the gym first, you probably still have a good day. Can this guy start walking to the top lane? Or just, just travel to mid lane completely, by the way. You might go to bottom river as well if you want to. You can also go to bottom river. Yo, if this guy wants it, I'll leave it for him, by the way. No, that was the sexiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Zircon Beast. He's there again. With the 10. I think you give the 10 less room too, Mr. Zircon. I appreciate your generosity immensely. Thank you so much, Zorko Beast. Thank you for the 10, brother. I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it immensely. He wants me now. Grumpa. Get it? Me neither. Alright, let's recall. True, enemy jinx for one isn't like 50 million zero. My jinx last game was 50 million zero. It was actually my jinx. Wait, who got the Aphelia shutdown? Yes, your Pia. Okay, he's strong now. We are stronger than the Gragas now, with the uh, Mercs and Tenesti. 
Merc is a much, much must buy against Gragas. It gives you magic resist and also tenacity. Because after he lands his E, you also get pregnant for a second. And now the Mercs will help me against that. We still have really good CS. Surprised with that. How did I get that then? It's just a blessed day, guys. <laughs> I'm just disrespecting having the better team. Why did I just take a third shot? I'm baiting him. I'm baiting him. Ah, I tried to dodge. Good luck gro dodging Gragasy, bro. He's fatter than I am. Okay, now it's time to run, I think. Or are we baiting? Or are we baiting, chat? Are we baiting type 1 if I should fight? Type 1 if we Q delay, get level 11 and fight him. It's time to fight. No bitch boy, he doesn't have setups yet. A sidestep. Oh! Nine! Bro, but the champion has like so many fallback patterns. Even if I make him dodge, like if I dodge his E, he just throws the casket at me and like, 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 like does that, does that shitty thing, man. Okay, that Q time was scary. He's Plus super cocky. if solo bolo. What if I, you didn't say who had the solo bolo? I got the solo bolo. I got the solo bolo. I let him solo bolo me. Thank you for the hundred. Thank you for the hundred. I'm a pig. You said it too late. Thank you for the hundred though. Bro, he had sweeper on, so he knew where I was hiding. What am I even doing, man? I'm legit just playing for fun because of my team being this good at the game. That's not how it's supposed to be. He lives. Face rush is broken against Rondo. Just walks away from the pillar. Wait, they froze the way for me again. <laughs> oh, he's frozen again. I can't believe it. Gragas is like a million fallback patterns, but holy moly have my teammates been blessing me, man. Bro, I can't remember getting solo killed this often. I got solo killed by Zek game one. Solo killed by Cassandra like three times, and then solo killed by this Gragas twice now too. I didn't know the wave was in this good of a position though, so I lost quite a lot. I didn't pay attention. Okay, let's lock it though. Let's stop griefing, like honorably. Stop griefing. This is game is not one yet. Trendle is marriage material NGL. Yeah, I agree. He really is. I think I baited all of them, by the way. I think they all died for that. Oh, my Aphelios is so sexy. The reason I want Alois to say is because he's small and people take him seriously. Hello, Alois. Thank Yo. you that you stream and teach so much about LOL. You best streamer. Thank you. Alois for and heart. Alois and salute. I appreciate it. I'm griefing, though. But, hey, thank you for the prime. Somehow I'm still standing for a minute. Uh, so I'm still fine in the game, and my team is legit faker. I'm gonna TP here and fix the sideways because it's pushing away from us, so I'll TP here and fix this. Please, plus one, plus one, plus one! Oh my mama. Ah, it's fine. Okay, guys, I said it before, I'll say it again. Lock in, no more int. I'm making my team- Oh, overwork! That's super rose clutch. Good reaction too. Both my Echo and Aphelios again are ultra fed. He wants to go into the Casio. Okay. Right. I'm gonna let Echo decide what he wants to do. Whatever side you want is yours. 
I think a slow pushes wave. So now next wave to walk closer to here so they can gank me and on the flash if they're scared. Okay, my team is pushing mid coming into top with Harold. Smart. That's the idea I had in mind too, but I didn't want to ping it to them. Because I don't want them to play the game around me, I wanted them to play the game around themselves because they're strong up me. But this is also how I want to play the map. Very nice. If they chase me, I jump into the Herald. Yeah, my team is just superior. Next item is Sojin. Minus one! Can I see some minus one stacks up in chat? Has he missed? He missed it. Alright, I'll push one wave. Probably move the dragon. My Phyllis is three items. Doesn't have flash yet, so it's important to track. I'm actually 20 10 CS per minute still, so that's good. We just run the Nash. My Phyllis is three items. Does he have good weapons? He has red white, he's gonna watch that thing. I got a dip now. Actually. Did Aphelius just go in? No, Chondo went in. No. I think he took a lantern. I respect it. They're gonna be on soul point, I suppose. How much I can do it against that? So I'll cross map for this shirt. I'll probably get either Cassio or Gragas TP for that. I don't think the Thresh had to play the way he did, by the way. That's all good. I'm gonna go Soul Gym for the haste. Fearless has flesh, Echo has flesh, that's massive. Alright. I'll slow push the first wave, I don't want to buff my means yet. Okay, my bot wave is pushing. Rise could be in that bush. Could be in that bush too. That was clean. I was locked in there, though. That was not clean. In fact, that was disgustingly ugly. If I land the wall up, I live easily. Not sure about this one. He's just pulled away back to bot lane. Yeah. <laughs> My channel just keeps getting invaded, bro. <laughs> 
Yeah, I knew what was gonna happen there. If equity peace and it's not a good fight, he is back to his old position, bro. Yep. The strongholds keep getting baiting. Or getting baited, rather. Dragas flanked. Got a 1k shot done. Jeez. I mean, they're all on soul point still. There's three items here. Jin's gonna get items too. This game is not won by the mean shit. Let's see if I can get this before next dragon. Okay, I have item. I'm pretty strong now. Now, the only thing I'm considering is maybe I can get level 16 before next skirmish. We have three items here, three and a half. No flesh on Aphidius though, which is very important to note because they have Jarvan. They have Castio and Gragas that can really get on top of my Aphidius now, but we do have Thresh to um, Hello, guys. help my chunks out. David, you won. I appreciate it, brother. Oi, oi, oi. He was like, I'm gonna stop running and just one-shot all of them, I guess. Stay with the team now. We're gonna play for this. Guys, okay, Zonyas. Soul points for them. He's red white. I'm zoning their backline, Cassio's dead. I'm just zoning. I don't know, I zoned three people. Where are my homies? I can TP. Oh, I can also TP here. I can also TP here. Okay, then I'll take you here, I guess. Waiting for echo. I should have TP'd with the Echo though and ended because it was only the Gragas that was defending, but he didn't want to. He wanted to play for the inhib. My, my plan was just to be an end, but yeah, this works too. Again, Echo's playing for the inhibs, not the end. I think he's alive. Yep. 
Why? Alright! GG. That's better. That's better. Not boring indeed. Wazak, thank you for the raid, bro. Thank you for the 70 rate. Hope you had a good stream, boss. We are 3 0 start. Rushing into Changer. Once we have one loss, we'll do patch rundown. That is the plan for the stream at the moment currently. Is there. Alright, we are gonna be honoring this guy, obviously. Alright, we're getting 800, we got a better team there for sure, but we climbed back, we were very useful towards the ends. And that's still because we had high CS, right? High CS is our foundation. Hi Alois, I just purchased your course and it is amazing. Yet I think I like so much in a mechanical aspect, I always cancel an auto attack or some bad habits. Will you do a video of best settings, routing that can help us be better? I was thinking of make so mesh. First of all, thank you so much for your support and for the comment. I genuinely really appreciate it. And um, so the first advice that I can give is to, is to be a one trick, right? I think once you are a one trick, it will also be easier to have better habits on just one champion, which will already help a lot. Um, I am thinking of making a video about League of Legends settings. However, I'll be very honest. I don't know how most settings in League of Legends even work myself. I can explain the settings that I use and the settings that help me, but I like if I were to go on a fresh account right now, I need to change like six settings or seven settings, and then I have all the settings that I will use. So I don't have very in-depth or like uh, hard settings, but, but I can explain what I use and what helps me to be more consistent in the game. And if you have more uh, individual questions, boss man, Mr. Mesh, you can also send me a DM on Discord and I will happily help out. Yo, Snack Elfar, good to see you. Alright, let's watch uh, this signups video whilst we're in queue. Guys, on the first loss, we'll do the patch rundown, okay? Wow. I mean, this is extremely well played. He was 3 and 9 there in a 3v1, those guys. Still. It's a vein player, so it doesn't count. True. Why is our, why is his hand red? Is it just because he's young? It's like a feature. That was clean, though. He's 11 CS per minute, too. Okay, quick recall as well. This guy is edgelord maximum. But he's also... Oh, he... Edge Lord Maximum, but he kind of did it, though. <clears throat> Yo, Peto, good to see you, though. Champion names instead of summoner name on top of health bars is underrated. Nah, I don't like it. I mean, the, my Trundle last game actually was named Trundle. Okay, that is actually true, though. Some skins, I guess, can help you. I mean, I can see that, just... I, ca I can see what you mean with that one. How are you doing, Peto, boss? Hope you're doing amazing. Is it really a true reflection of my in-bracket skill when I climb with playing Glue Eater Champions? Can you name a definition of a Glue Eater Champion? <laughs> I be climbing like crazy, but I have mad imposter syndrome. No, I think if you climb... Like, the thing is, it's a winner's mentality. Playing things that are going to help you win or increase the odds of you winning is not, like, a bad thing to do or something that makes you not deserve your LP. In fact, I think it's a winning mentality to figure out ways for you to get an edge over your opponent, be it a statistical edge because you play a meta champion. I don't think you are in a, by any means wrong for that, unless you play Vayne and Twisted Fate top. I'll make an exception. I'm good tomorrow, last exam in uni, and then I grind league and gym for one week. Let's go, bro. Let's go. How long have you been going to the gym for? I am finally starting to go that consistently. I went four times this week. Crazy how time flies. Started watching your YouTube videos over a year ago with Trinity Malphite. Damn, that video is a long time ago. I know exactly which one you mean against the Cho'Gath. When I went Trinity Force Malphite. Thank you so much, Kawaii Pip, for the Prime. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you for your generosity, for your support. What about Kalista Top? Actually, has insane skill expression. Skarner... 
Could be jungle, could be top. We are last pick because we are red side. If you're unfamiliar with how it works, blue team picks first, then two red side, two blue side, two red side, two blue side. And so blue gets first pick, red side gets last pick. And also you can see here in the center, of the okay, it's going to be Teemo top. So Teemo Skarner, it's going to be like really, really brainless to lane again. So I, this is the setup that I run into Teemo. And we're just looking to scale. I can switch this maybe to Alacrity, but Tenacity is probably best. We go second wind, overgrowth, and we're going ability haste and scaling health. Because we're not looking to kill Teemo, we're looking to scale. We have full scaling draft as well with Sona Jinx, Lilia Cassante. Weird draft. But we do outskill them heavily and we'll outrange them. A couple of weeks of years inconsistent. A couple of years inconsistently. Four months consistently counting wins and actually doing progressive overload. Now that's amazing, bro. This is my first. Well, the thing is, at the start of this year, I did like one and a half months of going consistently, and then I dropped it again, and now I'm doing it consistently again. So I need to find, uh, like I need to ingrain the habits more thoroughly for myself. But I feel absolutely amazing now that I'm taking more control of my diet and the gym, and I, I feel amazing. I'm getting more tasks done just by spending the time in the gym. Outside of the gym. Um, we're playing against Cassio, Timo, Skarna. So they have full AP topside. In fact, Kalista is their only AD source. But they have Kalista butchering against Sona Jinx. I don't know how my team is going to survive that. I say you can play Perma Bot to defend them if you want to. I don't mind. I look to scale. Could be a Ravenous Hydra game. I dislike Ravenous Hydra on Riven. But it can work against Timo very effectively. I'm going to have to see it here. Dodge, please. Yeah, I mean, I understand why Jinx wants to dodge. I think I cancel the queue for one second, else we run into a river band, okay? So one minute here. Why do you dislike Revenant's Hydra? Because the item is so shit. Like, it's only worth it on champions that auto attack a lot more. Champions like Olaf, champions like Fiora. What other champion even likes it? Camille likes it. But with Riven, it doesn't have cleave anymore, so it doesn't help with your abilities. And for example, on Fiora, your Q is like an auto attack, right? Your E is an auto attack reset, so on Fiora, it is massive. But on Riven, it's simply... It's it's not valuable at all. Um, Trundle. Trundle is an amazing example as well. For Riven, you'd rather have Profane Hydra, so yeah. Old Hydra was really good. This iteration is pretty shit for Riven. Every time I see a Nico now, I get uh, some flashbacks. If you know, you know. Wait, they, they have Petu. Wait, it could actually be Petu. That Nico is smurfing it with a W, by the way. Did you guys... Did you guys see that Nico with his W? Look how Nico targets... That's crazy, blocking the listen like that. Today, we talk to the most yeah, Sona Jinx cannot play against Kalista Ezreal. It is simply impossible. Shave Baboon, thank you for the Prime, thank you for the three. I appreciate it, boss. Thank you for the support. Bro, we go from Kesha to like the most chill gamer. By the way, why does he have exact same beard as Spear Shot? Is that just like a feature when you play Pantheon that your beard is like this? You know what I mean? Maybe it's Spear Shot's brother or sibling. That's the same thing, by the way. All right, we're left side, less red side, less big blessing. Rexai OTP Kent ADC field. Wham, wham, wham. Can't IDC neither. Can you dodge please then first pick? Can you please dodge yourself and not for somebody else? Focus on Twitch.
Why is he running away? Bro, I'm, I'm getting like, he could have done like five extra auto attacks already. Dude, he has four kills, but he's like deserved none of it. <laughs> Crazy game, Nero. <laughs> Most stylish response you'll ever get. Rek'Sai kitten. Nah, bro, I don't care. I unleash it on bot. Unleash. He, he typed it like this as well. We're gonna have an amazing, smart individual on the on the Rek'Sai and bot lane here. Guys, I don't know. It's like being forced to dodge, kind of, no? Kind of? Kind of forced to dodge? Kind of? Kind of? Unleash. Yo, Luke William. I'll play a bruiser carry. Yo, the kindness. Sorry, what did I miss? Oh, do you also like the massive hill that came down this afternoon? Uh, I was chilling inside. What hill? Actually, I went to the gym, but I didn't notice it. Oh, Gragas Lilia again. Gragas matchup. Bro, I've played against only tanks today. I played against Zack, Kesante, Gragas, Gragas. Well, Gragas isn't really a tank, I guess. It's just a name lane neutralizer. I could go with this. I could go nullifying orb against Lilia, Gragas, huh? Huh? No, I'll go scaling. I want my shells to change. That's what I mean. I don't know what you're talking about. What did you hit today at the gym? It was... Back and biceps. I go crit Halo Blades. What? Bro, I get a crit Rek'Sai. Bot lane. Bro, I'm OTP trust. Yo, well, guys. We had three really good games. It was about to go down. We play someone with the SK logo. It's my old team. Who are you laying against here, huh? <clears throat> okay. This guy's Faker. This guy's Canyon. Okay, we have good mid laner though. Press X to second. doubt. Press X to doubt. Yeah, I agree. Grasp Sorcery Gragas, aka for a Char Trender, Steven Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you for ha or uh, blessing me with your Prime subscription, bros. I appreciate it. Wait, I think this guy is also out of field, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Winnable. Our guy Viper got rank 1, yes. And I'm still cranked! Must! If we win this for 800 p we're getting close to challenger now. Let's go. We're getting closer. You save Deke. Thank you, Tyson, for the gamba. Alright, water down. I'm gonna reset the playlist. Actually, this song's pretty chill. Let's go, guys! We, I go either Q or E-Start depending on how the Gragas plays. If he is gonna walk into me and like E-Alt me, then I go E-Start. Okay, q started this. What? How did every mean target onto that one so randomly? This is again not the best Gragas. There, he finally did his first auto E, but he's able to do it like two times already. So I'm able to lane very chill here.
There's no counterplay for him to walk mid range into me and do like auto E basically. There's literally no counterplay. Alright, second wave crash, what I like to do the most against Gragas. What? You're asking me in the That's sneak good, huh? Lydia has already told. She has no buff yet. Did she do Raptors? Why does she not have buff yet with 12 CS? What is that clear? Wait, my bottle is actually smart, I forget. Rex I kitten, baby. I missed the last hits. I don't know. Getting hit by the turret shot really ruins my loading phase. Alright guys, Rex I bottle this new meta. Ho ho ho! Good trade. Uh oh. Goodbye. 150 health. Hmm. Hmm. I'm like doing ninja jumps, avoiding everything, spacing around my minions, not giving him any opening. Oh, there is a level 2 bike here. Right. Right. Right, 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 right. Uh, fourth game in a row where I die at, at this timer, by the way. Fourth game in a row where I die here. I'm tired of it. Alright, so deja vu. In theory, I cancels recall here and my brand ganks me when I have the freeze here. But this Grog is actually farmed amazing. I like guess 27. I don't know. We're, we're, we're stuck. That was a toxic pike roam though. I knew Lilia was bold, but I, I never anticipated pike. That's a smart roam. I'm so screwed now. Just farming even now. Yo, real Levantin, I'm doing good. Wait, I'm actually quite ahead in XP. I like how he can make whatever mistake he wants and it doesn't really matter in the great scheme of things. And even if he manages to mess up so hard, he can just E away or ult away. He's going for the plant in the river. So I have to collect this and reset. Wait, what? I cancelled my auto. Actually, I'm not gonna reset. I'm gonna greed. If he dies, it's really, really bad for the game here. Dragos wants to recall himself.
I got every last hit there. Nice. I'm actually farming really good. It's the only position we have, and I'm happy with that. Going with Gragas is fine. After laning phase, I'll be able to farm John Camps, etc. faster than him. So we're gonna mana slowly. I'm fine continuing the laning phase here as such. That still reaches. He is so fat. He's gonna recall now though. Yes, yes. Nice. I get for a reset here too. Nice. Well, and then I'm gonna FTP to get my next component, so we're pretty much getting for free here, which is really, really good. Just be farming even. Fine with that. Once I have Mercs and Eclipse, I'm fine. Also, he doesn't have Face Rush, so he doesn't skill that well with the Grasp. The Grasp is more so an early game rune, Face Rush scales more. I think they might kill the Trist here, which would be massive for the game. Really massive. Okay, we got one plate, it's alright. Wait, he has Edge of Night, Rek'Sai. What a goat. He says he's gonna go crit, I wonder what that is gonna look like, I guess. What I like though is that my AD carry is auto filled, but enemy AD carry is also auto filled. It's like actually balanced for once, you rarely see that. I'm just fine getting pushed in guys, like we're just farming even and I, honestly I am happy with that result, I'm not really getting punished for anything. This guy doesn't really know how to punish too well on the turret. We're excited carry baby. We are just a winner's queue. This again. So we're to last game. I want to deny him this plate. Dragons could be looking to TP. Okay. My team is fine without me. I'm gonna TP top. This guy does not like the time yet. I like Ragus TPing here. <laughs> nice one, buddy. Getting in his head real quick. I'm getting in his head, by the way. It's slow build up, okay? Slow build up from here on out. I dodged three Qs in a row now. Okay, maybe they didn't want to kill me even there. S cancel combo! That's the first time I got a kill with S cancel! I double cast it without my E! Wait, it's the first time I've ever done that! Wait, did I? Can we make a clip? I 
I'm pretty sure I did the Eskimo there. That's the first time I did it. That was clean. That was clean. <laughs> gotta, gotta admit it, guys. Never done Eskimo before. First time. Yeah. Double cast without my E. Actual utilization of the S combo. Crazy. Bro, I'm, mo I'm getting motivated by playing good. I'm getting motivated by playing good, guys. And I also have really good teams, I'm gonna be honest. What do you mean by S combo? I double. I mean, it's hard to explain if you don't know what it is. Basically, you're not supposed to be able to double cast with Riven unless you use your E. But if you S combo, you can double cast without your E. Yo, Sparky, how are you doing, by the way? I like these tunes, brings me back. Being back in tribe mood is really motivating. It's been a while. Bro, look at his items. The lectern edge of night directs at 80 carry, by the way. 7 and 0. I got a few. I'm not gonna TP here. I'd be TPing to save him. Better make my own play here. Pike might be here. Oh, it's for 11 cents per minute into Gragushka. That's good. We got a solo bolo. We're scaling. There we go. One half minute for Draguna. And we do have our TP and we're gonna have Flash. So probably aiming that unless I can play for the turret here. I have massive tempo over the Gragas. So if I bur burn his TP, it's massive. Because I'm able to get permanent Priome. Already level 13 to him being level 11. He should be somewhat close to 12 though. What's happening? There he is. I'm gonna look for Golems then. Every time I'm getting a wave, but I'm also getting a camp, right? Whereas Gragas is only getting the wave perpetually. And so slowly I'm building an EXP and a farm lead. Not the first camp I'm taking here. I'm gonna save my W. And make sure I don't give him pressure for this though. My eclipse was one second, boys. My eclipse was one second. Very close. Ooh. 
close. Sora, thank you for Prime. I open a king top, but I'm not gonna watch it right now. It's still a game. Thank you. Slice them. Alright, we're moving into bots. I'm sorry, Bongo Jorb. I'm sorry for the ad. Not that, not that I can control though. You have a respectful lobster. A respectful lobster. I appreciate boss. Pushing this wave and next wave. Then I have enough gold for my item. If Gragas keeps pushing, I have to TP top to prevent them getting a tier 2. Should it be faster? That's my bad. Okay, Greg is gonna lob there. He got the tier one, he got the tier two, and he got the kill on the own. He's fat now. Oh. Ah. They are gonna permanently look to cheese, right? And that is what they're supposed to do. Timed by the own. Did he just Q flash that guy on and like backflip him? But anyways, if you look at enemy team comp right now, they're behind everywhere and they have to look for cheesy plays, so it makes sense that they're looking to cheese me on the side then. Educated Rex, bro. That guy is one shotting people. Living the good life. Never mind, that shit is useless. First time I finally watch it. Just done that. Bad orangey. <laughs> Actually, full gear chat Rex I set up. I'm gonna be honest, I wanted to dodge this, but threw me wrong. He's flush as well. Yep, I have an ADK Rexa, bro. Both ADKs are autofilled. This guy's a Rexa one trick, aka Rexa kitten. He's already proven me wrong though, so nothing I can say. It's so weird that this tier 1 is still here, by the way. They're gonna look for me again, by the way. I know it, I gotta dip. If I'm in their team, I'm only looking to kill me in sideline, honestly. What else can I do? Actually, they don't see my team. They don't know where my teammates are at. That's really bad. Sounds to be here as well. They're gonna do Nash. Rex has flash. Oh. Oh. Uh, what did Rexa do to their backline? What did Rexa just do to their backline? How did Rexa just one shot almost three people by himself? I need to see that in replay. I need to see that in replay. Passive run out.
Sniper Sawyer. Hi for level 2 room, right? Like level 2 room for me. I misclicked there. Could have one shot her. All good though. I got the pike. For zero, let's go. All right, we gotta look at a replay of what this Rexa did, and I wanna look at my S combo first. By the way, the first time I ever did an S combo. If you guys are unfamiliar with how rhythm works, at the end of your E animation, you're usually allowed to perform, or you're, you're able to perform a double cast. But that's only at the end of your E animation. However, if you S cancel combo, you can actually perform a double cast without your E. All right, eight hundred LP now. Getting close to Challenger, bros. Finally getting back. All right. I'm pretty sure I did it here, though. Yep, I double cast it without E. <laughs> Yep. Look how happy I am. Rightfully so. No, Sparky, I just did it with luck. I just did it with luck there. It's honestly luck. I never practiced it. It was just it was just a fluke. Alright, actually. Let me uh go into the replay quickly too. Do be a banger though. But I don't really use these combos ever. But yeah, it has its use use cases, and this is one of them. Okay, I just want to see Rek'Sai in this fight. Where's my Rek'Sai? Wait, uh, what do I need to press for Rek'Sai? 3? No? Okay, E. W. E. R. Okay, R is Rek'Sai. Can we just go to this guy? Oh. Full crit, Rek'Sai AD carry, I guess. Hello. Look at this build. What a fking giga chat, bro. That is crazy by the way. That is crazy by the way. That is genuinely ridiculous. How fast he one shot that guy. Crit Rexai. There it is. Crit Rexai, I guess it's just where it's at, guys. Oh good though. Mid beast try not to have a stroke combination. Okay, never mind this faker. I'm sorry for anything I said. I'm sorry for anything I said. This guy always watches everybody because Titanic Hydra Salad Sky combination. Yep. Crazy cooking build, honestly. She just said river and went to him, GG. Uh, not really thinking about it. Well, I was watching this video, by the way. This is pretty crack to watch. T1 versus Gen G, the place you missed. That's sidestep.
By the way, I didn't know this worked. Look at this. Crazy, I didn't know this was a thing. I've never seen somebody use that. Dude, this Nautilus? Uh, people were complaining about the hands in the series, like, like was not having a series, but this team fight was so crazy. I feel like this is what really defines support play as well. If you're able to keep your opponents so much on the toe and play so much to the limits, like being a, like a bait, it's so crazy what he does here, by the way. And it's all conscious, of course. It's so crazy how he just baits them. This whole team fight when you look at it. Because now Azir is overextended. Crazy. Crazy. Wait, Orn Q can cancel the Herald charge? That's crazy. The Crit Rex I was 1v9 by the way. He he, he legit 1v9 the, the game at the end. Crit Rex was really good. Crazy. This is for sure one of the craziest things. Zeus is already dead before the fight, by the way, so Ajax is already dead. Somehow he killed four people, bro. That's crazy. He is forward, so they all walk into him in melee range. And oh, they banned Riven. Shit. Is it a Schmundo game, guys? Is it a Dr. Schmundo game? What's the alternative here? Camille? Camille's not bad against Ziggs Pike, but it's bad against Akali Viego. Actually, it's fine against Viego, too. I think I want to go Camille, then. I wanted to go Mundo, but uh, they can still pick here, and then if they pick something disgusting, I think it's going to be really hard to play. Yeah, it's still hard, like, this matchup is for sure like, pretty much unplayable, but we'll make it work, guys, we'll make it work. I've played it before. It's just that we don't have Divine Sunder anymore to save our ass. Uh... All good. Try and make it work. Try and make it work. Yo, they have double 80 topside. What if we go the Iceborne Gauntlet build, huh? What if we go the, the Iceborne Gauntlet setup, guys? Are we cooking? Do we do the Iceberg on the build? Hmm. The Don Baron. Rich Spirit was in my game last time. I think we play against um, Gaethan, but they banned my Riven. And it has to be the mid laner. It has to be the mid laner, Mr. Oskew. I think that guy banned my Riven. Kind of cringe. Kind of cringe.
River would have been so good here. I mean, we're already spotted out. I don't want to go for it anymore. Oh, damn. I really don't want to go east start into Jax. I'm happy I was able to select W. Jinx got a kill and Thrush got a kill. Not the worst. Alright, let's go. It's gonna be a hard matchup to play, bro. This is a hard counter matchup to me. Got a golden fish. He's deep late lethal tempo. Well, that's a good dodge by him. You go E second against Jack actually. Alright, letting phase thus far. I'm gonna hold it in the happy spot here. Alright. Yeah, Camille, Camille River is a skill matchup. Please give me the XP. Nice. My match on the sofa behind. Just push him back into me. Okay, kind of was sedge. I thought I would get it. It was like legit one HP. Not much to do here. That's crazy. That is so crazy. That is so crazy, actually. <laughs> My 
My E was one second as well. Oh, that is painful, man. That is so painful. Oh, well played by him. I think my Kane also missed his ability. Kane missed his Q there or his W, which also cut me massively. Please leave. Wait. What a criminal. He says no problem. Uh, Jackson played me really hard there. His E just came back before my E. But I will say that I think my Kane should have killed him when he jumped on me though. Uh, I'm gonna need help here. Pike's gonna call me actually. That's a really good thing with my Thresh. There's the Pike. Why does he go for the pike out of everybody? Oh, it is horrible. The wave is still frozen. We just don't have enough consistent damage there. No much to do though. Could be alright here. Fuck my life! Okay. Oh, this game is a tilter. I still don't have Sheen, it's really bad. No, Akali is here. How am I out to play the game, man? This wave is perma frozen. I can't do anything. I'll just roam, I guess. But my wave is like perma frozen, guys. How can play? I need help. I can't play the game. Because of the Akali hover as well. I might as well go mid. There's nothing I can do in top lane. My teammates love each other. Yeah, Kali overcooked me so hard. What else do you want me to do? I can't play. I mean, I, I'm down to just dive bolt. I'm down to dive bolt. What else can we do here? I can't go top. I'll just die. The one skirmish cut me so hard. I got spotted. Who aggroed this, by the way? It's finally pushing. Are you joking? I still don't have machine, bro. So grim.
my items. And now we fight. Yeah, I don't know. Jackson's food, Triforce, Akali TP stop now. Tiny bit unplayable game. He gets insta instantly his wave gets fixed. And he kills it. Yikes. Ah, oh, I was in a good spot this game. After the first wave. Just the 1v1 to or the 2v2 top that happened with the thresh. Game into the sink. I should be able to crash this though, and then I've seen. So that's good at least. But he already has his Trinity Force and he killed my Hawaii. I'm so far behind. Okay, I do have three and zero jinx though, so that's massive. Alright. We get something. Still 350 gold off though. Okay, Jackson Flash, that's good as well for my lane. I need to not get zoned from my lane here. He doesn't know that I don't have E. Okay. Could have zoned me from lane, but. Oh! Ah! I thought I would hit the other one. I need to set up one more reset. Yeah, I'm not gonna go Iceborne when I'm already super far behind this game. K needs to reset. Okay. I can finally fight back, but I'm still level down. And he will have TP advantage. Bro, show me a thousand bits! Hey, yo, what did I do? Serve that for? Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Appreciate it, boss. Massive. Jack is TP advantage. Oh, never mind. No TP. They could dive me here. That's a massive kill, though. I'm probably getting dove. Oh, I'm not. We're surviving, we're slowly surviving. I chunked him to half, so that's good. Pike, Zix, Bolt, Viego's only top. He got a plant, I think. I'm 
getting the fat jinxes now. We could kill him. Oh, we go, mid. The car is gonna get a 1k shot down. No. No, 12. I'm perpetually full level down. farming even though so he's not really able to expand his lead i'm gonna push here here's no tp i'm just getting blessed with the better 80 carries today akali is not up yet and she tp'd both i'm pretty sure i'll get this Akali's gonna be here in time now. Oh, that second shot might put me a lethal range for Akali. No, Akali went mid. Solid! Very solid. I'll cover you. Oh, wait. I need to recall. What? I thought I was recalling. What am I doing? And then I can TP back to top. Why doesn't he want to fight? We can kill the Jax this way. What are we going mid lane for? I like it. If he went both the jacks would jump him and we could kill him. With a really nice play. Oh, we thought. I'm instantly one shot. Why do I even eat in? And I lose a tier 2 now as well. It's such a cancer bad death what I do here. I force the fight as well. I am griefing. Oh, I'm sad that Hawaii also didn't listen to my play though, but that has nothing to do with my int here. I just ego it. Oh, I missed my E. Oh, well, it is my bad. Oh well. Yeah, now this guy's an issue. <laughs> yeah, he's playing Mutal, and I'll mute him as well. Annoying player. I think my play would have 100% worked. I'm grieving this game though. You know, I played me twice really, really hard. He's gonna have like Tabby's and Sunlit Sky and maybe even a bit more. Oh, he went for Mercs. Okay, he's have HP. I can maybe get 10 points to this. He's probably gonna base TP bot. Can we one time dive this guy? One time dive this guy, man. Like I pinged it again. Why are we not never we're never here? Why is this guy just allowed to do what he wants?
Ah, uh, frustrating game. I'm so weak. I'm not sure how to approach this game. I don't win silent against either Akali or Jax. Camille is so shitter, honestly. It's like two of the worst cha champions to silent against for my Camille champion. I don't beat them either. I'm good against their bot lane, but yeah, I mean, I can't even reach them. I'm perma pushing inside. It's like unplayable for me, honestly. Probably vision everywhere here, by the way. Yo, Parafield, I'm alright, just this, this game's not going so well. Unfortunately. But I have nothing to blame on myself. What? I'm out. Piggy. One shot by the Viego, even. It might even 2v1 us. Massive. Try to deal as much damage as I could so they can't really do anything productive. I don't know. I'm happy I got the turret, but there's not much to do. My Jinx is 7 and 1, but Zix is just probably pushing waves and 2 level higher because of Baron 2. I don't like Ravenous Hydra Rush on Riven. I tried it into range champions and certain neutralizers like Gragas, but I'm, I'm just not a fan of Ravenous Hydra Rush. I think the item is useless on Riven. Viego is also so fat, by the way. This guy has 208 CS. Dude, the Zig's W cancels my auto, man. Uh, nah, this game's just not it. I'm down to go next. 
Nu skal vi sidde lidt. Is Lathy... Ah, I think there's a mix between Bruiser and Lethality on Riven. It's the comp defender too. I feel bad for my Jinx. She's 7 and 2. There's just not much for her to do. Bad game by me. They're kind of griefing. Oh. Well, we can deny their soul. They don't end. We get some shutdowns. Potentially more. Is Jax killing them? Hit the dragon. It saw me. Ah, it saw me. I should have hit the dragon, not the bot wave. I'm a griefer. I just griefed this game from start to finish, honestly. I I can't believe it. He was actually in time because of the teleport, I suppose. Oh. Man, playing Camille against Jax Akali is the worst. Definitely the worst. Can you one shot it to six? Okay, that's good. It's late. I'm still so far behind the gold though. You see this guy's almost four items. I'm still st starving for my third. So I'm like... I don't know how much gold I'm behind. Like 3k gold? 3k gold probably, maybe a little more. So in order for me to get back, it's, it's a real stretch. Yeah, I know, he did counterpick me now, absolutely. I mean, I am counterpick, right? But still made a lot of mistakes. It's one of the hardest matchups for Camille. So PS4 items. Like wait, we have a chance. And everybody was dead. Wait. I didn't play well this game. I can't stop this. More drinks. Can't do anything against the champions. I played that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It sucks that I play like this on Camille. Oh, I can't type. Oh, you got me good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Very tilt proof Jinx. The good teams have run out. I still had a good team this game. How was this? Should we lost? Alright, I want to keep one more. I said I would do Petro down after I lose, but... Can't end on a loss. I kind of want to play after that game, man. I'm annoyed. I want to play. Not annoyed, but like... First day that I played like this. Yeah, I'm winning. We're, we're four wins, one loss. We're four wins, one loss. That's fine. We're four and one. I'm like... There. Wait, by the way, why is Aurelian so able to pull or to to destroy an Azir like this? Isn't isn't Chofi just the best player in the world to be able to do this? Like Faker even has Halo Blades and gets pressured this hard. So crazy. Alright, give me a uh, better uh, game experience this game, please. No more inting. I'm inting every game. I've already gotten solo killed every game. I can't remember the last time I've had that. And somehow I'm 4 and 1. Maybe I see a pattern, guys. The more I get solo killed, the more I win. Unironically. No. Bro, are you asking me now? They picked my ribbon, bro. And they have Rakan Rek'Sai. I get a Skarner. Hmm. What do I play into Riven even? My go-to would be Jace, but they have Rek'Sai. I'm not doing that into Rek'Sai. I'm not picking Jace. I'll go Fjord, I guess. Alright, let's not try not Int. I mean, I should take Finesse into Rakan Rai's head. Potent goes Exhaust or PTA, I'll try that. Actually, no, I'll go Kong. I mean, I'm not the best Fiora, but let's try and make it work with this. Let's try and make it work with this. Malphite? Actually, wait. It was such a good Malphite game. Wait, Malphite was so 1v9, now that I think about it. Malphite into Rek'Sai, Riven, Draven? It was like the easiest Malphite game. That's alright. Actually, if I go Malphite, we're Skarner, Ari, Malphite. It's also really shit. We're like full AP topside. No, that's why I don't go Malphite. Okay, he's playing the full aggressive setup. It's Critias. What is that? 
I think I played this guy against this guy before. He just picks away my ribbon. Doesn't really play ribbon, he just picks it away. I'm not sure. Maybe he does play it. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's play better this one. Okay, D blade start. He walks away from the backwards vital, but it's good because now the first vital I get onto Riven is going to be the frontal vital. As long as I don't see her anymore, so that's good. So I don't want to spot the Riven anymore. Yes, this is the same Rexai as the Rexai the carry game. Alright, let's focus up. Pretty sure the build to go is Ravenous Hydra, Eclipse Holebreaker. Let's see. <clears throat> He's playing with D Blade. She is really screwed, by the way. I do 4th wave crash, I recall, or maybe even 5th wave crash here. Four wave crash, Rex is doing level 3 bot. That's working. Diver, that's okay. Forward crash reset to be back. She's playing Flesh Ignite. The wave will bounce back into me, and her lane is screwed over, guys. Farmers. Looks like she also missed some XP somewhere. Already 10 CS up, and she did not get a reset in. Rexa is coming back at the top side though. Shouldn't use my W like that, so carelessly. Uh, Rakan is gonna be here. Please come, Thresh. No, 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 hey, 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 Just cover. Don't push us in. Psychopath. Uh, she's gonna get help if we get pushed out. what I meant. Nice. Game over still. I'm gonna cancel our bases. Okay, now all I have to do is I play out the bounce here and we're happy. I'm already level 5 and she just hit level 5 there. So this is the amount of XP I am at and look how much CS I'm also at. I'm double her CS. 
That's what the fourth wave crash into reset does onto your opponent. That's why I said her game is over, guys. One minus. Then our team tried to salvage her position by sending the homies, but I picked my Jonah to sustain me, and then we're Gucci. Now you're gonna be healthy enough so I can play out the bounce. I'm a little bit medium blocked here. Thank you, Alois, for Mind Game for LVL2 and many more. I am on a 13th winning streak as Pantheon. I got full medium blocked, by the way, earlier. But the wave is actually still good, luckily. Thank you for the 100, Calendar. Well done, bro. I was full medium blocked, and I don't know if you guys noticed. I'll do this. Okay. The wave is still good though. And she flushed. Thank you always for the mind mint game. Mind game for level two and many more. I'm on a 13 win circuit as Pantheon. GG. Well done. Well done, well done, well done, well done, well done. Okay, the wave is actually like good. Good. Perfect. <clears throat> My champion circled around the means because it was stuck. It's so annoying there. I don't know where Ribbon is at. She's a Tiamat. That's crazy, by the way. Is she rushing profane? A really clean game as far. She's only 27. I mean, she's getting a fat wave here, but. We are pretty far ahead in CS. <laughs> right, this rise is just chain dying to this trash. I think she gets all the kills as well. And Rexha is just trying to put money into Draven. Draven is our only weak addition. He has 7 out of 8 kills, so it's just gonna be a matter of shutting down Draven. And we're good. It's good that that Rexha or that that Rice is so weak this game because he's their solo AP. So if Rice is weak, it's really easy to build armor for us. Yeah, it's going pretty good, especially if they kill Draven here. Boots? Dude, she recalled and got boots? Glowing mode refill. That's what you spent 700 gold on as Riven. Holy moly, is that shit. I knew it. Should have predicted the W correctly, though. Sun's coming through, guys. My, sh my face is gonna shine. Good attempt of Riven. So if is pushing into me though. Actually I might as well just push it out. No, oh, that's why I should have recalled. But he can't kill me.
That was our desperation all in. I don't lose life for that. I hope it was worth it driven. But I don't like Skarner spending so much time here. When I've already one lane pretty much. Okay. Yeah, Botan is still their only wing con. I need to base and TP fast. Just putting all the money in his pocket, right? It's just gonna be the drive in this game. I think I like Trinity Force. I mean, the uh, the op the alternative is Eclipse, but I think Trinity Force is pretty solid here. All right, just getting some kills is really massive. We get second dragon here. I'm gonna keep the usurpation pot. Riven can roam no F. All right, Draven is Infinity Edge and has a shutdown. Although he's nine out of eleven kills. I'm gonna continue the pressure top here. I think. I'll get a fresh cut on Friday. I'm gonna preserve our mana here. Very solid. We're just building a lead here. Riven has no fallback patterns when she's behind, we all know that. Once Riven is behind, she's useless, so as long as I don't enter my shutdown, we're gonna be ahead. Enemy team might look for me now, because they're not gonna get us this dragon, and so I'll play a little bit slower. Okay, C2, Rakan is there. I don't think Rek'Sai Riven can kill me. That wave there, by the way. This is their desperation play. If we win here, the game's over. I actually get a kill.
And Grave Flush is massive. That's massive. Is that gonna be a mana server? Really? When is the mana server releasing? That's crazy. I didn't know there was gonna be a mana server. Nah, that's alright. They can ask about Shen. I don't know don't know who Shen is though. Nice flash, little bro. Alright, we're soon on Trinity Force, then we spike extremely hard, and then I think I'll buy Death's Dance, Draven of Flesh, so if we ever kill the- like, he's not allowed to walk up on a single midwife now. So, weird for chilling. Okay, is she rush profane? She's dead. Yeah, mana server is actually massive. I'm surprised there wasn't a mana server in the. Oh, that comes behind me. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Yikes, what do we do? I guess we just keep it and wait. Gotta keep the focus here. Can't give a shot on like that. They are not allowed to make this play, I feel like. Hey, Dino Flash. They want to force a 5v5 or no TP though. Ah, oh, the Riven Ignite killed me. Cringe. Another account. <laughs> it doesn't matter! It does not matter! That would really not cringe. I didn't ult anybody there. The Jinx attack speed. I think back up after this now. And then just play for Dragon. Solid. The spare stop damage from Ignite, yes. You can even parry Ignite. If you do it at the start. I mean, they've put all the asks and eggs in the Draven basket, yeah, this game. I think I'm at top. Uh, Jinx, you're supposed to go mid, buddy. Please don't go top. Very senseless. This guy is a tilter, though. He was the... Hawaii from last game. They're too weak. They're own six and own seven, so they're just like flies. Ah, oh, that's sad that the third dies actually. Flash. Oh 
shit. Now it's gonna be four items strong, that guy. That's pretty bad. We shouldn't force more. Don't force more. If they get a single of the kill, they'll do Nash. We don't go deep. Ari does not have TP. Damn, Scorner is a, a beefy boy. This one. Was this the same Skarner that we had earlier in like the first game we played against the Cassante? Or second game? That game we also had a really good Skarner. Skarner feels pretty strong, I'm gonna be honest. Drinks no flash. There is four items. My team can get all the healing here now. I just wanna zone the Draven. Holy shit, I got one shot. Yeah, that's Draven too. Lost track of him for one second. He worshiped my ass. Who even buy? I think it's this, right? This is better. Yeah, I don't know. I've played against this Riven guy before, but he just picks away my Riven to deny it. Like, he's not actually a Riven player, I think. Holy moly, my scorn is fed. I have 8 assists as well. Damn. This guy's almost full build. Yeah. That's kind of useless. Because he's on a team. Actually, I should be top. Sorry, I'm B. Should have been top in the first place. Griefing. We can pressure this. My team can pressure both, but now I don't have TP. I don't have TP. Keep in mind. We should just play for this. My team should go both now, and I go top. We can also go together. Gotta make sure we kill Draven. This guy is unkillable, though, I think. No, Draven kills him. I'm not there. Draven gets a 1k. He's gonna be full build. Is Jinx getting a Penta? No, Draven one shot him. Oi, oi, oi. Else was Penta for Jinx. Okay, I mean, Draven literally can't get stronger, so I was like, fine. Honor, it doesn't matter that much that he gets these skills. If Jinx gets one more auto and she gets Penta. We have the death stance. Let's go. <clears throat> he is going to be full, but there's no flesh. Only two items here, two items here, so they're, they're simply too weak to fight us. It's just a Draven that we need to kill. Do we play it like this?
Everybody's healing here. It's a really good ult. Okay. Yeah, nothing he can do, man. Just the lady carry is too weak. Yeah. All right, GG. Pick my revenue, little piggy. I want this lady face at level two, basically. When we got the trade, and I did four fifty-eight to reset TP back, and then they sent everybody in the bounce, but we killed them. And GG. Yeah, that rise was way less game. That full muted all and play tilted. All right, GG, GG, GG. Feels good. Feels good. Okay, guys. Um, we're pretty close to Challenger, like three to four wins away ish. But let's do the patch rundown now. I also wanted to take a look at the patch rundown in general. To be fair, I haven't taken a much look, uh, like a big look at it in general. I've like kind of screened through it to see what they did. But yeah, I was like 5k gold ahead of the Revenant in the end here. But uh, team effort. Everybody got S. That is very rare. Only Jinx doesn't have S+. The rest is S+. Plus. I believe that's pretty rare. Challenger is around 860 LP. So we are, let's put a generous 4 wins off right now. Okay, let's do the patch rundown for everybody here. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't read much into the patch. I think I'm going to switch the screen so it's just full screen, which is going to make it a little bit better like this. I'll just remove everything quickly so it's just easier to read. All right, let's get rid of this for a second and dive into the patch notes here. Okie dokie, so what have they done? Um, I don't care much. I mean, the most important thing about this patch, of course, is that this is the MSI patch. So, there is that. And they have nerfed Azir, Briar, Zek, and Zeri. And then these are the buffs. I think it is always weird to see Azir nerfs, especially, t like, this champion is not, um, how would you say, balanced around solo queue. He's balanced around uh, competitive. So, any uh, solo queue Azir main probably absolutely hates this, as per usual. Vanguard is going to get introduced. Beginning with this patch, Vanguard will officially be turned on in the Philippines in the live server. Okay, so they're gonna test it, right? Uh, I, yeah, everybody's gonna have a compatibility check, I suppose. And, um... I, for me, I, I just passed it. I logged in and it said it passed. I didn't have to do anything manually. Um... I, I believe it's really good that uh, Vanguard is finally being introduced. I think League of Legends is not the only game that has a lot of issues with people cheating. Uh, I think League of Legends has been one of those games that has had an overall actually pretty good experience, like uh, not having many cheaters. Two things that I hate in games, it is pay to win and it is cheaters. If there's cheaters in the game, for me, it's just an unfair advantage. It is boring and pay to win is also boring because if you have a bigger wallet, you win. League of Legends, for me, was one of those games that had neither, but recently, there was statistics showing that, uh, I don't have the source right now, but in every game above Masses Elo across all ranges, 1 out of 10 games is has a scripter, 1 out of 10 games, and in some regions, it is 1 out of 4 games, so 25% of the games above Master Plus have at least one scripter, that is crazy. So I'm really happy with Vanguard. I think it comes with some downside for some players because you won't have custom skins and those things anymore. But I'm personally extremely happy with this. It's going to remove the potential to basically cheat and to script. And, and I'm all for that. Okay. So, um, of course, what we have to keep in mind when there is a larger patch like this for MSI is that a lot of the, the changes are also going to be somewhat catered to competitive play simply to make MSI more, you know, competitive. So that's why we also have a larger patch usually before... Uh, a big tournament like this. So they're just increasing Akali's base health. I think Akali is one of those champions you see very often in professional play. Mainly in mid lane, but sometimes in top lane. 30 health will uh, help her in the early game. That's pretty much it. I think this helps her a lot in the general sense though. Also because most Akali players play with D-Shield second wind. Uh, in like of this annoying range matchups, right? Like Azir, which you'll very often see playing. It's like Oriana. So I or like Nico. So if you get 30 health more, that actually makes a massive difference. So that is really good. Um, the base health region of Azir is decreased and the W damage is decreased. I'm going to be honest. I don't know enough about Azir to know how much this impacts him. But one and a half base health per five seconds down. Um, I don't know how much that makes a difference throughout the entire landing phase. And the, the W damage... 
Yeah, these are see the thing is with me as a coach, I feel like I am really good at explaining key concepts in the game. Like I'm really good at giving, you know, concepts that you can touch, that you can instantly apply. For me, what is hard is to read numbers and sometimes figure out how much it really changes for the game itself. And it is simply because I it, it like five percent movement speed. It just, it, it just like, okay, 5% movement speed, how much does that really matter? But movement speed is such a broken stat that it can sometimes be a literal game changer, like we saw with the Camille buff, for example, right? It's like 5% movement speed, extra on their Q, it is massive. So it is sometimes really hard to judge these numbers for me. Um, and of course, these nerfs are catered to the competitive play. We'll probably still see Azir because it's just such a staple, good mid lane blind pick. There you go. And, and just really good in draft in general. Briar is getting nerfed again. That is surprising. Health growth decreased, Q range increased, so they gave her compensation, and the W bonus attack speed decreased. I think Riot just doesn't know how to balance this champion, and that is for the reason that this champion is absolutely horrific in high elo. I never see Briar, but she is a broken champion in low elo because of her like straightforward dive heavy kit. I think people have no idea how to play against it towards the low MMRs. That is where she's also gonna have a higher or higher win rate, yes. But in the lower MMRs, no. I reverse it. Lower MMRs, she has a very high win rate because people don't know how to play against it. And in the high MMRs, the champion kind of is futile. So, um, yeah, weird to see that she's getting nerfed again, though. But yeah, I, I don't have a big reference point for that. The Q damage for Draven is increased. Very interesting. I felt like the champion was already pretty strong. He's being played in competitive as well. So now there's probably going to be more Draven for MSI 2. Interesting. I don't really care, though. Galio. This champion is like in every patch now. His base movement speed is increased and his Q cooldown is decreased early. That has to be a massive buff. I don't know. Again, 5 five movement speed probably doesn't matter that much, but who knows? Maybe it does make a big difference. He likes to roam, right? So maybe that 5 extra movement speed makes somewhat of a difference. I think the Q buff is really amazing, yeah, though. Yeah, good um, Yo, thank you, Jake Bella, for the primer as well. And, of good. course, the reason why this is good is because, I mean, it's one second in the early game here and then it's only 0.5 seconds and then it's almost same again so it's just for his first four waves where his q will be one second good on i think this is a placebo because his q is also the ability to debuffs anyways and later on it's the exact same second so this is literally only useful level one to level four and after level five it's half a second it's already negligible so i don't think this really does anything for galio besides help him a tiny bit in his first four waves pretty much use this Passive reload time, scaling adjusted, critical damage ratio per pallet increased. How does Graves work? I'm gonna be honest, bro. Okay, so his passive, new destiny, attack speed scaling, increased attack speed scaling from non-level sources towards reload time by 35%, and the critical damage ratio per pallet is 5% up. Okay, so they've buffed crit Graves. Beautiful. Don't care. I think this champion can work in competitive, but it kind of goes counterintuitive with what you see in the meta right now. The meta mid laners that you very often see is like Oriana, you see a lot of Aurelian Soul, Azir, these type of champions, right? And they want to be uh, farm heavy, and you need to very often as a jungler help them get through the laning phase. So you very often see like these bitch type junglers. What I mean with the bitch type junglers, like the poppy jungle that, I mean, she will farm to like one or two items, but then she stops farming. Right, T1, for example, you played Poppy, played Maokai, those type of junglers is what you'll see. Rel is gone now, but that's a champion you'd also see very often. So you have these junglers that are just like low income and um, give a lot, uh, provide a lot, of, a lot of utility. And so that opens up the picks like Azir, Oriana, Corky, Aurelian Soul. So they can also farm jungle camps later on. And it's okay for these low economy junglers to skip camps and to facilitate their teammates. And so Graves is the exact opposite of that so i don't think we're gonna see a lot of graves in general but maybe some teams like to play the champion but in the general sense i don't think we'll see much grace it's just uh katie to solo queue hawaii passive bonus magic damage increased okay thank you next i don't know what to say guys jarvan a champion i also feel like i see very often in patches um also pretty good for those like he is kind of a mix between low economy and like needing some economy to be useful. So they give his passive a little bit more target current health percentage damage. 1%. Again, here, that 1%, I don't know how much of a difference that makes. It will probably be a tiny difference maker in some early game skirmishes. But like 1%, it's so hard to judge how much this really means. So yeah, that is that. 
Jin is interesting. I think Jin is an AD carry we don't see very often. And I'm talking about professional play here, right? In Solo Q, I also don't see him that often, though. So the bonus movement speed on crits is increased and the Q damage is increased. That sounds like a pretty significant buff. Again, here, the numbers. It's 4% extra on the bonus movement speed on critical strike. And then again here, we go from 10% to 14%. I said at the start, one of the hardest stats for me to judge in general when I see the numbers is movement speed. But 4% movement speed can make a massive difference. So I believe this is probably a massive buff. Every time I see movement speed buffs, they turn out to be insane, like Camille. So I think this will probably be really, really good for him. And then the Q damage buff as well. So I think this is a massive buff for Jin in the evening. In the evening. Yo, yo, you are. Yo, Clara. Yo, welcome, everybody. Kaisa, Q damage increased. To me, it is kind of crazy to see Kai'Sa getting a buff. I think the champion is already extremely strong. You have the AD Kai'Sa build, you have the AP Kai'Sa build. And I believe the AP Kai'Sa build is already really, really strong. I do like... So what are they doing with the Q? We wanted to increase the AD ratio on Kai'Sa Q to emphasize damage that required higher commitment and played her unique assassin-like characteristics. Okay, so I do like that they're targeting uh, to kind of... Uh, give her the incentive to build AD. That I think is really good. But I think you will still see the hybrid, hybrid Kaisa build. I don't know how much this will like... In, like 5% extra bonus AD on her Q. The AP ratio is still the same. I don't know if it's going to magically turn her into an AD champ. Like that people only build her AD. Instead of like W uh, or AP with the W poke. So there's that. LeBlanc. Q damage increased and the W cooldown decreased. This champion was played AD, and I believe that's where she suffered massive nerfs. Um, I think she's, like, a good assassin to pick against, like, these hyperscaling mages in the mid game to try and force early 2v2, so that is interesting to see. Uh, 5 magic damage flat on her Q, I believe, is massive, and it's actually on every rank. Though You'll notice it the most, of course, in the early game, but 5 damage on her Q, which is the ability you spam the most, is pretty significant, I think, so that's good. And what are they doing with the W? Ooh, that is really massive. I believe your W is what you max second on LeBlanc. So, um, three seconds lower is definitely going to give her more trade opportunities, more all-in potential. And because this, uh, this is the ability that you max second, having it three seconds lower is a massive change for her. It's going to give her an opportunity to play a lot more aggressive and escape a lot more scenarios too, I think. Yeah, good. I'm not sure if we'll see LeBlanc at MSI, but probably this is some incentive to play her. Wait, W Max is first. Wait, I'm a pig. I thought Q Max is first. No, you guys are right. W Max is first on LeBlanc. So how much does this change then? I mean, then it's kind... I mean, it's good. Right? It's good in the first three ranks, but then it kind of falls off. Because you see here, the latter two ranks are basically similar. Here, it's still three sec So three seconds, two seconds kind of, and then one and a half seconds. I mean, it's kind of similar to the Galio, although three seconds is a massive increase. Okay, this was this, this had a lot, a lot, a lot of um, rant on Twitter I saw about Mordekaiser uh, getting buffed. So they're buffing his Q cooldown, which I think is probably the biggest buff that they're doing. One second lower on his most used ability. But again, it's also the ability... Actually, no, this is not a massive buff. It's kind of similar to the Galio buff that we talked about earlier. It seems placebo because Q is the ability that you max first. But it is the one you spam the most, right? At rank 3, so that is level 5, right? It's or it's half a second less. I mean, does this one second really make a change? Only if you fight in the first four waves against your opponent. Um, it will probably give him some opportunities to fight back into certain champions that want to bully him out earlier though. Like, you play Mordecai into Olaf, for example, which is one of his worst matchups. Uh, this can help you fight back easier. So, I, I mean, it will probably still make a significant difference, actually. I think this is good for Mordecai there. E grasp deals less damage. Okay, so his E deals less damage. Interesting. Um, that's not where you use the E for anyway, so that doesn't really matter. And this is the interesting part: the death realm is not that you're not able to QSS out of the death realm anymore. So you cannot escape with quick QSS or Mysterio, but that's the same. Uh, Alistar Old is not able to remove it anymore. Gangplank W is not able to remove it anymore. Milio Breath of Life. Oh, wait! Olaf Old is also not able to remove it anymore. Olaf was one of the biggest counters to Mordekaiser because anytime you'd have his ult on Mordekaiser, can't press ult. So I think, I mean, 
Yeah, so most champions that you'd pick into Mordekaiser to avoid his death realm, like Gangplank, like Mordek uh, like um, what's it called? Olaf, he is not they're not able to do that anymore. So Olaf was one of his worst matchups. It's probably gonna be like a completely fine matchup now because he can still steal his stats. Um it's gonna be interesting to see, honestly. I think this is not as big of a buff as people make it out to be, though, because it doesn't change for almost any champion, and very often you wouldn't build QSS against Mordekaiser anyways, because it completely messes up your curve, and, like, QSS is only good on AD carry champions, and certain bruises, but they're so cost inefficient, those completed items, that I never find myself building QSS against Mordekaiser anyways, and so I feel like this is good, but I don't think the QSS matter that much, I think for certain matches like Gangplank and Olaf, etc, this matters a lot more. Okay. Olaf, he was buffed next patch, or kind of changed, his W got extra mana cost, his ult got mana cost, and so now they're, and also I believe it was his Q that they buffed to jungle camps, and his E, I believe, they buffed two things in the jungle, and now they're also buffing his Q in the jungle, so they're trying to put Olaf back into the jungle instead of in the top lane, which is alright, W, Rice, slow increased, cooldown decreased early, I think this is a massive buff, 15% extra slow, and the cooldown is increased or decreased rather with two seconds, which is massive. It doesn't seem massive, but it is absolutely massive. So this is a cooldown that is extremely significant because the Rise W is the ability you max last, I believe. I could be wrong here again, but I'm pretty sure you max W last. So having two seconds cooldown flat on it for the entirety of the game, because you start putting points to this ability at level 14. So you're going to have 2 seconds less, plus 15% extra slow on the ability you want to max less, which is absolutely amazing. It's going to make it more spammable in lane. Um, if you play Rise into so certain melee champions, for example, W is the ability that you can just permanently spam on them. 2 seconds less and extra slow allow you to land more Qs as well. I think this buff is massive. However, it's probably catered towards uh, competitive play again because Rise is such a shit solo queue champion. I think he's like... Statistically, almost always the worst champion in terms of performance. Okay. Skarner. What did they even do, bro? Mana growth decreased. Mana region growth increased. Huh? Yo, Rafix, thank you for the rate. I appreciate it, bro. Wait. The mana growth decreased, but the mana region growth is increased. Okay. The Q damage is increased. Interesting. Mana cost decreased. The buff duration is increased. That is interesting. So they're buffing the like the duration of how long you can hold your Q. Um, w mana cost increase is really good for top lane, and the damage is decreased. So that is really good to see. Okay, so let's see. At this, there is so much to take in. Less mana growth, but more mana regeneration. Okay. Uh, the cast time is significantly lower. Oh, that, that's when you pull it. That, that's like when you pick it up, right? So when you pick up the boulder. So that is significantly decreased. That is good, though. Um, damage per hit is pretty pretty big increase. Also, 60% bonus AD. So this increase on the damage per hit when you're holding the Q is pretty significant, too. Okay. And this shoots out faster, too. The W is the most spammable ability in top lane, though. So the mana cost is increased by 10 on pretty much every rank, that is really welcome to see, because, I mean, new Skarner, I saw this tweet by Drutu, that it was really, really accurate, the way he described Skarner is that it's somewhat similar to the old Kisante when he was released, where it's zero interaction, he perma pushes the wave, perma pokes you, and because he has percentage health damage in his kit, he's still always able to deal damage whilst going full tank, and you can never kill him, which is true, you just play this matchup to skill, and so they have increased the mana cost and decreased the damage by 10 as well, that is a really a welcome sight, um, I've played some solo queue already today, I've only seen him in the jungle thus far, no scar on the top yet, so that's good. Uh, Silas received buffs to jungle camp's last patch, and they have given him another buff to, um, jungle damage, so I assume what they're trying to do is make Silas a flex pick, maybe, where you can play it mid and play it in the jungle. Um, with Rice being buffed, I know historically Rice is one of the best champions to pick into Silas, so I'm not sure how often you want to play a mid, but maybe you can, you know, work something with that, but then you have a Silas jungle, and I don't know, I think Silas jungle is a solo queue pick and not that good for competitive, because I, I mean, I'm not sure how fast this clear really is now, especially with the queue buff as well, but historically Silas clear was really 
weak and he was really reliant on getting early game skirmishes to to get into the game and now that it's not that easy to do that anymore i don't think this is a real champion you want to play that often in the jungle base armor and magic resist growth increased okay uh yeah S slight help for thresh sure we'll probably see him in MSI. this is really good to see zek is finally getting a base health decrease i didn't even know that this champion had eight seconds of base health regeneration which is kind of crazy to consider with the amount of sustain he already has because of his blobs on his Q, W, and E. So I'm really happy to see this. I played against one Zek top today. It went amazing. So there is that. Other than that, yeah. Uh, happy to see Zek finally getting a nerf because this champion has been a nuisance in top lane more so than in jungle. So this is really, really good to see. Probably could have hit him a little bit harder. But then again, it's hard to factor in how much this really changes. Like, this is probably... Like, it, these numbers seem so low, but this stacks up, of course, right? So... It's good to see. Base health decreased. Okay, bye Zeri. Don't care. Right, so that's it for all the champions. What is the most significant change? I think Mordekaiser is one of the changes that are very, very significant. Uh, right, his ultimate changes and then his Q. Uh, Skarner, I think, is more catered to the jungle now instead of top with the W nerfs. It's good to see. I think there's a rise buff is really big. Olaf is a placebo. Silas was kind of a placebo. We talked about Mordekaiser. This is also pretty massive, but... I'd have to see it as well. Um, this I don't think does much because they're still going to buy AP. Jin is really massive too. I think this probably the biggest. But then again, I don't know how much this 4% really comes like to help him out. Because of course, you need to have crit first as well. Um, all in all, very interesting patch. Interesting patch. Yeah. What else? Mythic shop rotation, we don't really care. What are they doing with terms of system? Okay. So they are buffing Baron. Okay, so Baron... Okay, this is actually massive. Baron got a big visual overhaul earlier this year, but his damage hasn't been quite as scary as his new appearance. Oh, there's only one Baron. I think you have three different Barons, and there's one Baron. We have, like, the open gates that deals a shit ton of damage. The rest are kind of useless. So we're buffing Baron attacks to make them more apparent while ensuring they don't do too much damage. It should encourage players to more frequently reposition our Baron's ability. I think it's really weird that they are buffing one of the most important objectives in the game on a patch of msi because every pro team is like used to how baron works right now and they're changing arguably the most important neutral objective in a you know like world tournament so that is very interesting so i mean they have given 200 flood damage with his acid pool magic damage the acid pool slow is 10 percent increase as well this is a massive increase that's 225 base extra damage 20 percent so five like every attack is getting more damage <laughs> bro i didn't even know like baron had all of these abilities bro like honestly whenever i'm doing baron right now i'm just like yeah press my shoot oh i hit it oh i probably want to tank it so it's like whatever kind of but maybe here when reading this like they are massively buffing baron i i, I mean i did i notice it in the games today i don't think so i think these numbers look scarier than they are in reality because in the end of the day very often it's just going to be one person that's tanking baron and okay that one person that's tanking baron will receive a bit more damage but that is it i don't think it's actually aoe this is probably not as huge as it makes it out to be i've played today i didn't know they changed baron and i didn't notice a significant difference whilst doing baron so i think it's actually fine no i, I don't think i felt it void grubs uh they're pushing the times up a minute so it's gonna be similar to dragon then right okay so it's gonna they line them up so the solo lane is hit level six that is very interesting because void crops of course is an important objective to fight for in the early game so that is that is interesting to see so the spawn timer is six minutes and that is indeed when top laners and mid laners hits level six the wave that comes into into the lane at level at minute five if you've lost zero exp so at around 5 30 you'll be level six Okay. Sure. Mythic shop rotation, we don't care. And iron, ba iron balances, I also don't really care. Any bug fixes? No. I think it's alright. I don't think there's like anything really significant in here that I read. Interesting patch. I like it. Okay. Yeah, good patch. I like it. Uh, I mean, let's see how MSI goes. We'll see all the champions being played out. I wonder how many champions of this list will we will see. Maybe Rice, uh, maybe LeBlanc, and maybe we'll see Azir less. I think we won't see Graves. Maybe Jin and Draven. Uh, I think Kaisa will see because she's already broken before this buff. 
very interesting fetch. Let's see how it does. Okay. There it is. There it is. That is going to be the fetch note. There we go. Ranger Q critting is big, no? Wait, did they do that? Can Ranger's Q crit now? Because then he can go Sunlit Sky. He couldn't before. Okay, that that is the patch for it uh, for today. This is the MSI patch right here. I I've just talked about it for like thirty minutes. That is the MSI patch. Okay, let's uh, quickly redo everything. Magic, magical streamer, professional streamer. Okay, pretty solid. Um, Chad, what do we want to do? Do we want to grind main account to challenger, or do we want to play a few games on the Smurf and um? I honestly want to mess around and try and see if I can make the Camille build work better, like the Korean Camille build. Okay, I'll, I'll just make a poll. What do we do? We're four wins away from Challenger, so we can do what play? What play? What play? What play? Main account? Or Smurf? You guys can choose. You guys can choose. I let the council decide. Okay, main account is hard. Oh, oh. Kind of even. It looks like main account is just winning though. Guys, do you know like sometimes you have like a little tiny cut underneath your toe? I have one right now and I just did a misstep in-game IRL. And I misstepped and now that cut has gone open again. And it stinks, bro. It stinks. I hate that. Like it's such an annoying pain. No, I still don't think Mordecai will be a staple in professional play ever. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't think so though. He's too... Like, he has no mobility, and so he's too e too vulnerable. I don't think he'll ever be a competitive champion with this design. Yeah, Chovy is a little bit good at the game, I think, guys. It's actually crazy to see how mechanically gifted these players are. Like, it is so crazy. When I watch this, I am excited to go to Korea. Actually, dude, I, I need to I need to force these other streamers to just I need to kind of convince these other streamers to just go to Korea. I really want to go to Korea, man. Hi, I'm a silver top main, and I know the ins and outs of Volibear, Kisante, and Set. I don't remember the last time I lost my lane, but I often lose my games, and I can't influence the game much, even though I have a massive lead over the enemy top. Any tips, Alois, or chat, please? I'm losing my mind. All right, so, Uncle Zozo1. Since you've mentioned Set, I don't have a guide right now on Kisante and Volibear, but what I highly recommend is yesterday... I uploaded the video is how to climb out of lower MMR with set and as you can guess I also win my landing phases and I showcase you how to utilize your lead to play correctly after the landing phase Your mentality has to switch to not look to continuously solo kill your opponent But you have to expand your lead you have to play correct macro use your tempo well and then you'll be good So first thing that I highly recommend you do is you watch my set guide on YouTube free for free if you want, you can also check out my mid to late game macro and tempo course. I go extremely in depth on all the concepts that I use to expand my lead from the landing phase position. There you go.
Chovy is so good, man. It's actually crazy, you know? Like, looking at this, it is so crazy to look at. Considering, like, Chovy makes Faker look like a noob here. Yeah, that makes it crazy. Uh, by the way, he cancelled Cassante's he cancelled Zack E with his ult, and then he cancels his ult with his W because he's unstoppable. Crazy frog. Look at this cold blood killer, bro. But trust me, this guy's heart rate is like one million five thousand right now. True. Alright, guys, we're like four wins away from challengers, so uh we are getting there. Um AP jungle possible. Really good with double AD lane. Alright. Let's switch the title then. Four wins from Challenger. Uh, oh, somebody already updated it. The goaded mods. The goaded mods. Goaded mods. Oh. oh, you hate to see it, man. You hate to see it. They have a poppy ban and rank this ban. Flash W by Poppy. But they can't lose, bro. They have Guardian Angel on Corky and on Zeri. Like, they can't lose. Yo, they have MLM. GG, what a series, man. What a series. Honor uh, it has to be one of the best series ever. Uh, Jax is banned, so it's just a ribbon game. Not like I was going to pick Jax anyways. No. All right. I like to go flat health into the Camille. Skill match up here, let's go. Important to note, guys. Camille passive, 18 second cooldown. Camille E, 16 second cooldown. Camille W, 17 second cooldown. Those are very abusable cooldowns in the early game. Let's see.
Oh, we have Rebel Rouser in the jungle. That is my Dutch homie. I once was in a plane with that guy to uh, Berlin. When we had media day for Prime League. My homie. He is an amazing jungler. I already feel better about this game. You made me laugh. It's 4 a.m. and I annoyed my sleeping girlfriend. Chat, pray for me. I'm about to be murdered. Wait, Smearsel. Put your mobile phone next to your girlfriend's ear right now. What shall we say? Wait a minute! Sorry, sorry. She's the late start. That'll teach her. Why not Dorn's Blade? Because I'm going to be trading my HP for level 1 priority. I'll show you guys what I do. I'm gonna trade my HP for the early game priority. She is no happy. Bro, I hope you didn't actually do it though. If you did that, you are a pig, by the way. I respect it, but I wouldn't do it. Wouldn't be me, bro. You're risking your life with that one. She could E on to me and massively trade to me, honestly. Okay, so what you're doing to Camille is you Q prep like this. And try to get a free bone plating. Got our bone plating. Now it's still to play around her passive. Okay, that was best. Mm, it's okay. But I should just play for my level two and I'll trade into her passive like that. We talked to the most calculating and one of the most consistent and the W, uh, the W is also bad. I, I trolled here. I shouldn't trade like that into her Q. That was bad. Tyler, thank you for gifting Spear Soul. That was bad. Really, really bad. I lost two potions. She didn't even lose hers. She got a level two here. I do not have my E. No, I misplayed there. I should just play from my level two. Massive blunder. Okay, nice. Important dodge. I probably should recall here. Okay, I got our flash. Ah, uh, Udyr went mid, unlucky. If you went top, we kill her. Nah, she's getting level 4 here. I don't know what that flash was, guys, I'm gonna be honest. She could even dive me here, if she's really ballsy. I should just recall. I have a lot of trouble now. I can play. I cannot play out the bounce here with this HP. That's not the mean I wanted to hit. No way will bounce away from me. I am uber, uber, uber stuck here. Yeah. No. Completely into my early game learning phase. All good though. I know exactly what I did wrong, so it is what it is. It is what it is. I know what I did wrong. I do lose the full wave for it though. Make sure I get this bounce in. Okay, double this bolt again.
As the proxy gives me a recall and that she cannot take because by the time that I've cleared the wave, she still needs to start clearing it, right? So I get a good tempo reset here. And that will save me because now she has to make a choice similar to me. If she recalls now, she's gonna lose most of the XP of this wave, at least three melees. If she stays, she's below half HP and mana. So that proxy gives me tempo and now I'm back in lane. Proxy, guys. Important. Importante. And I lose zero XP here. She already lost three melees and a caster, so now we're back to even. She's going for Tavis because she's a pig! There's a plant in the river now. Whoever gets that first is of course gonna have a massive advantage. Shoot, Polt. I'm gonna go for the plant anyway, so we stole the dragon. Nice job, team. Alright, Rebel, Razi, 3 and 0. Expected so. We are kind of in Windows queue today. To be honest. Alright, we're dead even with the Camille. I'm gonna E into the ward so I can ping the ward timer. And now I need to use my E to kind of trade against her passive because her passive is significantly longer cooldown than my E. So you always want to trade your E for a passive, and now I can look for trades when her passive is down. So you tr play this matchup in two rotations. You see, now the trade is alright. Although she got her bone plating back, so it wasn't as good of a trade as I could have had it. Uh, Belvet could be here. Belvet is bot. She has passive again. That is painful. She might already have flesh, by the way. I use this for a reset timer. Don't judge me. They were gonna cut for the tier one. They were four. Piggies. They were piggy. I'm not happy with how I played this matchup, but sometimes it just is what it is, and we're just gonna get carried by Udir this game. Yes, sir. At least I lose nothing again. I take my tempo reset. If anybody flames my wall, I'm going made goes over T1. UIHV been here for half a year now. More than half a year, boss man. Thank you for the support. Crew made goes, amazed to see you, man. Thank you for your generosity. I really, really appreciate it. <clears throat> I'll deny the Camilla wave here. So I fell super far behind in this early game, right? But I still got them back with uh, my fundamentals here. My reset timers and my proxy opportunities have gotten me back into this lighting phase so at least have a cs lead again because the risk that i had to take at level 4 was extremely bad for me right but i managed to fix it Wow, that was the sexiest thing I've ever seen. Jovrex with the turn! Thank you so much, bro. It just came out of nowhere. Jovrex, what did I do to deserve your generosity, boss man? Thank you so much for the 10, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you for the 100 as well. Guys, 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 leave your generosity. I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just chilling, inting a little bit every now and then. Thank you for your extreme generosity, bros. In a bit, stay with the subs. Dodge! Let's go, bro. <laughs> Proxy to reset again here. You get more damage on the plates. I'm building a slow CS lead and some late lead, so we're doing alright here for ourselves. More reset here. We lose nothing again because of the proxy tempo. I just started so I contributed. Scam train baited Joforex. Can I get some salute? Ooh, salute for the AD carry. Rest in peace. Yo. If 
pulling the wife. Flames my wall up, I'm perma You're gifting QWERTY. Was that the guy that dodged? It was. Nah. -uh. <laughs> wow, that Q still went through, huh? I timed it, but I don't have anything to follow up with. Her E's on a long cooldown right now, though. She sees my intention, I think. Is it enough? Ah, close. My Jinx rocket. I'm not gonna show. Bomba! <laughs> oh. oh, what a beautiful timer, guys. And we get the Zeri shut down. Shit, shit. Little tilter moment. Thank you for the 69. Anti you can work wonders, piggy. Shut up, your mouth can too. But thank you for your contribu- Contru- con Contribution? Bro. Contribution? Contrib- Contribution? Uh, and scam train. I appreciate it, bros. Sorry. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Contribution? I ah, CBA, bro. We got Tabby's Phage. So she's gonna really slowly get to her Trinity Force now. Uh, I'm sorry. I just turned Dutch for a second, man. CBA. CN Tribution. Yeah, you're a C A U N T O. Kidding. Thank you for the 100 Joe for X. Curtis, I'll get the five as well. Thank you for your generous contri contribution as well. I'll learn it. No, that was the sexiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Contribution. That's it, right? I don't know. I just have a second doubt. Is it contribution? I said, I said good, right? Contribution. Yeah, no, that has to be it, actually. I'm just second doubting myself. I'm going to go play for the third. If I die, it's your fault. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, no, I said right. Too much self-doubt. She wants to go in, maybe Velvet is here. I shouldn't risk it. We chance Velvet is here, then Camille gets back in the game. She is so far behind that this Camille realistically never gets back in the game unless I grieve. Because she needs, like, 2k gold before she gets her next item, right? Okay, Velvet was a bot. Unlucky. I could have pushed my lead. Okay, but I think a matter of consistency, it's better to not do it. And like I said, she needs 2k to finish her next item, or her first item. And if I get 2k extra, I also have some that sky. And because I'm already ahead, I should be able to get that 2k gold yeah, faster than her, so we're gonna focus. be fine. Jo Aloise. <laughs> Thank that you for the gifter to, um, deal those swaggins. Yeah. Hello guys, I'm Aloy. Today we are gonna do a coach. Red Ryzen, thank you for another gifter. Thank you for the scam train, guys. Scam train proving. Oh! To be very worthy again. Where's the Bell Susie? Deal those swaggins, bro. Alright, guys, it's time to flip it. But that was hard, wasn't it? Sir Bilzu! Bil... Bilzebu! Take the primer! Okay, I gotta look in here. I get level 11, I'm gonna get ganked. And I'll 2v1 them. Just predicting it. Hey! I wanted to 2v1 them! I knew it! I knew it was coming! You stole it! You stole my moment! It was my highlight! I was ready! I killed the Belmont before she could even play! Hey, that's me though. That's all me though, guys. That's all me though. I told you. I said a feeling. I was Thank gonna get my level eleven. Contribution. Thank you for the contribution. Indeed. Sold it though. Predicted it. There we go. Like I said, I'll probably have my second item before she gets her first. Yeah, Uther Grief synapse. And everything. It's okay though, he's the GOAT. Rebel Rouser, can't blame him. He's 4025 CS. Pro farming a storm. Who's more than me? Uh oh. Ooh. 
The reason I want Aloys to say is Art he's smart and people Vinley is right, Table Prime as well. I appreciate it, brother. Dear Cass. Thank you so much. Wait for level 6 come train. My goats. No! I, I mean, I'm not gonna cancel my recall for that, bro. It is what it is. I should recall in the zone. Alright, guys, I'm gonna go open up back into top lane again. To get the tier 2 turret and we're good. By the way, guys, I feel like every game today, enemy AD carry is actually getting fed. Like, last game it was a Draven. But it doesn't matter. Because somehow my AD carry is still, like, even. Even a level up. And it's, like, fine. They're not inting. I actually have, like, good teams today. It's really good to see. And my mid laner is two items to, like, zero items. I'm also almost two items to zero items, so. We are being shilling. Camille mid. I'm gonna use that priority to get the tier 2 here. It doesn't matter if they kill my Jinx here. She even lives. I mean, it's GG. I'm not gonna move. Moving will be salvaging. If I just push top here, I already get two and a half kills by just getting the side wave and the tier 2 turret, right? So, I already basically get like three kills here. 700 tokens, bros. Both side wave is really bad. I'm looking at it. It's frozen here. This is what I refer to as a bleeding side wave. So, we're gonna have to fix that side wave next. And so, we push this out. Make sure we get the cannon. Reset, go into bot lane. And as I said... She needed 2k gold to finish her Trinity Force. There's a good chance I get my item before that because when I'm ahead, I'm able to expand my lead. I got top tier 1, I got top tier 2, and now I'm two items before she reaches 1. She is poor, I am not. GG. So even though I'm only one kill, I'm like, 3k gold up on this guy? And now I play with a bot tier 2. New flash, massive. Super to face check this area. Find the pig. Scare him away. For being the bigger pig. There will always be a bigger fish. There will always be a bigger pig. And I'm the biggest pig right now at the moment currently. I'm gonna get my four men. Oh, that was clean. That was clean, though. I wait and waste everything on me, by the way. And me living is massive because now we pressure mid, so now they have to defend mid. But whilst my team is pressuring mid, I'm also gonna pressure both, and their entire map is in shambles because they didn't kill me when they sent four people. So goodbye, tempo to them, and hello tier two turret for ya boy. There's always gonna be a bigger pig, and now they're pressuring here. And they're permanently walking from one wave to another. Guys, we got mid, now we get this. They were a six month Shadow Ranger. They were tier one. Six months, boss. Thanks for making the not so great days good, Alois and cheer, Alois and salute. Thank you for a massive compliment like this, bro. Did you see my spacing there? Make a clip. I'll show you guys after the game what I did there. Very important thing to learn for spacing. Make a clip. I'll show you guys after the game exactly what I did. And it's a mental thing. It works consistently. Man, that was though. the sexiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Jovarex! Calm down! We got a 10! GG. Jovarex. Thank you, bro. Jovarex. <laughs> You're not that bad in LOL. You should consider doing courses. Cool story, Bob. Who said that? Push and whoosh 69 with 100. I agree, guys! Exclamation mark course, I actually have one. Thank you so much, man, Jofrex. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for your extreme generosity, brother. Fat scan train. Guided by Jofrex himself. GG. Thank you, bros. Did anybody make a clip? Did anybody make a clip from that? I want to show you. <laughs> Rip off. We have 30 seconds to reach. Hello, guys. I'm Aloy. D. Matt. Yes, thank you for your prime as well. And your contribution to the scam train. Thank you for your contribution, guy. Country. Contribution. CBA. It's actually hard to say. Contribution. Oh, there you go. It's not that hard. Sometimes I just choke over my own words. I don't know what it is. Contribution. Easy. You guys have no idea, sometimes I try to record an intro and I have to record it 20 times because there's like a word like this that I just keep failing to pronounce. Hey! It's cringe. 
Another cringe attack. I moved for nothing. When Elden Ring stream? Probably when I'm back from holidays. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go on holidays in bracket. I'm gonna visit my family next week. Next week I'm visiting my family for one week. And then if all comes to fruition, I'm gonna go to Korea. And if that doesn't happen, then we can play other roles. And then I'd also like to do the Elden Ring stream. But it would be a long stream, probably like a Sabaton then, right? Also, the Elden Ring DLC is coming in like two months. Yeah, I played Elden Ring on release, when it was released for like 100 hours, and then I never touched it again, actually. So I played it like the February two years ago. I played for like 100 hours, and then I stopped. Yeah, I played most uh, Dark Souls. I never finished Bloodborne. Um, I, I didn't play Demon Souls. I didn't finish Sekiro because there was no PvP, so I got bored. Okay, let's focus here. Come here! Hello, is this here? Hello, bitch! Clean game, bros. Let's go. Almost changing now. Dude, I finished Sekiro, but it's like I had to do the final boss, and it was like five different endings, and I was like, no CBA. I also know Elden Ring is like seven different endings. I only did one, never played it again. I just went to PvP. My boy Rebel. Plus 19. Yeah. Okay, guys, I need to show you guys this clip. All right. I want to show you guys something important in spacing, okay? It is a core concept that you need to utilize into your gameplay. I don't want to see two Aloysis, so I'll do this. Okay, watch this. So you see here, we're starting the fight, right? Now, watch. I'm just going to play it in real speed once, and then I'll dive into what is happening, okay? Did you see it? Could your brain register it? It is very important. Watch this micro input that I do, which ends up making me kill Camille, okay? This is what you have to do, and this is so important on any melee bruiser that you can play, uh, especially when you have additional dashes. So here, I am spacing towards her, I am spacing back, and then instantly forward. But you see, her brain registered me going back for one nanosecond, and so she walks forward. And you would be surprised how often you get solo kills like this, even in Grandmaster Challenger. If you do this one tiny trick, all the way down to lower level Mars, you will surprise so many people with this. It is just one back step and instantly going in. So I Q forward, then I E, and I instantly turn again. And you see that one nanosecond, she's already too late with responding. Playing it every real time again. Q forward, hiding my attention. And you see here, the higher level you play, the faster people will also respond to your inputs. And even though it's a tiny input like this. What did the buffalo say when the sun from. left? Spacing. Bison. Mechanics. I don't know how to teach people how to space or use mechanics in general. But here is one example that you can utilize in your gameplay, which will help you get a lot of kills. Thank you guys for the scam trade. Can I get some salutes? Thank you for every bit, for subs, for gifters. This is my battle score from coming to Challenger. Thank you guys for your generosity. I genuinely appreciate it immensely to be in this blessed position. Thank you guys. What did the buffalo say when his son left? By son. Huh. That's a funny one, bro. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. I get it, right? My son. It's a son. Yeah. All right. All right. Piggy. 
Would you have a kiss mark on your armpit? A kiss mark? This is a kiss mark. It's just a tiny... Tiny, uh... Pig stain. Piggy stain. Me, a poppy, or malphite Ben, if we play this. I mean... <clears throat> if they can pick Poppy into this two champions, like instant GG, by the way. No, you didn't ruin my mood, bro. Thank you for the 100. I appreciate it, brother. I'd kiss it too far. Hey, too far. Chat, calm down. Way too far, actually. Mm, mm, mm. You guys know who a good coach is? Alois. Capitan. <laughs> Capitan Anus. Thanks for the tier one, bro. You're with Natty Nat? Ooh, that's a free W, actually. Some would say that that is a free W. Dude, we're in winner's queue the whole day. Can you, can you rationalize to me why Riven having no resources costs make sense? Riven having no resource costs. Because she has no sustain either. And no true damage in her kit. And no armor penetration in her kit. She only has flat damage. She's kind of like an assassin almost. No sustain. No true damage. No armor penetration. She all needs it from items. That's why she doesn't have resources. Like mana. I'm sorry, Drip. Drip to Gion. Oh, shit. Wait, Rengar's banned. No! They show Silas Jays. I'm not gonna pick, bro. You can pick. <clears throat> Jay's not an easy matchup. They are full range draft. There's no opportunity to pick Mollified though because they have Silas. Tabis is extremely good this game. If I was a good Aurelia player, this could be an angle. I'm not. <laughs> uh, what's some other opportunities? Dr. Mundo, not bad. Dr. Mundo, not bad. Oh, wait. I'm a one trick, bro. Let's go. <clears throat> I still like to take this into Jace, though, but I'll go scaling health. Gwen game into Jace Silas. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No bueno. Actually, yeah, true. With Ari Echo as well, that would be full GG. Ten subs in a Zeri top. No way. It's just Jace top. Just on a mid. It is Jace top with grasp. <laughs> Wait, we're full changer game! Wait, I'm the imposter! No! I am the one low elo guy! Damn, I know what it feels now though. I am the imposter! <laughs> Sheep. Sheep. I'm gonna go D-shoot when he's going grasp, I guess. No, it's not the promo game yet. Oh, you actually give 10! Joffer makes you griefer! I appreciate it, but you're such a griefer! How is Zeri ever top here, bro? Oh wait, you thought Zeri top? James with Tristana AD carry. Okay. <laughs> Salute, bro. Thank you. Straight- ah, I see why you did it, bro. Straight for the 69. I see it, you devious little man. Kidding, bro. Thank you so much for all the subs you gave me today, bro.
in general also. How you play against Brom with no tenacity? Brave man. Because they have no other CC. And Brom doesn't like Brom is actually outplayable. Unless he auto attacks me, but then I like consciously go into him, right? Hey. Oh. Okay. Alright, we're actually playing Halo game. Actually, super Halo game. Let's go. <coughs> Side spatting into top, echo patting into bot. I'm not sure if the grass chase is intentional, but we're gonna figure it out. They're all hitting this melee. I like to go e start into Jace. Perhaps I should have went with the ability haste. All the casts are hitting him, by the way. He's griefing here. Dude, he's taking more damage than I am. I'm not sure if it's intentional still. I mean, he can proc it for free, I suppose. I'm saying in the XP range. I mean, I wanted the XP. We are weak side though. I think what I should run in this matchup is uh, Ability Haste. With this shoot, it's probably better. Still with TP though, or with Ignite. Yikes. I lose that one too. He's demolish. Yeah, he saw like a bolt, so he's kind of free to do whatever he wants to me, right? I'm getting killed by Grasp Jace and still absolutely one shotted. This way is pushing into him because of this annoying caster. It is so Jover. Oh, I thought somehow he should have EQ. I'm bluffing here that my team is here. You should know that Tisha, I'm gonna stop side of minus bolts. I'm gonna recall here. I can't do anything into this shit. If I stay, I get dope by Silas. I gotta recall. It's massive that he missed that. Else, I would get dope. I'm gonna go to Twitch HP. Yeah, that's why it sucks landing into Jason in isolation, man. There's just not much to do. I don't think you could have dove you there because you don't have mana. Yeah, it's not the Jace that could have dove me, it's the Silas that was top side. Silas did level 3 gank into bot lane and then recalled and went into top lane. So he did, the Silas could have dove me, not the Jace. And Echo was bot lane. Yeah, he's still top side. That's really strange that he's still top. Why is he still even top in the, in the first place? I don't know. Unplayable game for me. I am excited early in a matchup like this, and then Silas is strong siding Jace for two waves at a time. I'm not able to play my first four waves, I'm not able to play afterwards because Silas is hovering, and then on the bounce, Silas is still hovering. Unplayable. 
Nothing for me to do. There's a massive CS lead in the jungle now, though, because of that. But yeah, I mean, there's a massive CS lead in the top lane as well. I'm a full level down. Plus, he's still getting all this EXP. There's nothing that I could have done to circumvent this. I guess, besides running, maybe D shoot TP. Then I would have been able to base TP, I guess. He doesn't know when I'm hitting level 6. Uh, it's just FF, man. I played that so horrific. Please don't be here. Thank you. Level 7. Label. Yo, Sinarius, thank you for the raid, bro. We have a very hard game on our hands. Weak side against Jace. Kind of unplayable playing against Jace Silas. I have an Echo Jungle. That's the farm in the early game. Welcome to the Raid Pro. I hope you had an amazing stream. Abusing Zillion Mastery. He still has TP as well, by the way. Hey, it's just such an unplayable game for me. <laughs> He's at least gonna lose a plate here. No, nope, he's not. He's just allowed to play the entire lane phase like this. I think I can trade at least, and the wave is pushing into me, so that's alright. Okay, it's something we trade. I think I have to send it there, else Jace just runs away, but at least the wave is good, right? Yes, okay, that's something. It is something indeed. Okay, well done, Camille. Okay, we got something here. I'm still completely out of the game though, I'm still leveled down, and he has teleport to fix this wave state. So we're still completely screwed, honestly. He was one-shotting me before without items, right? Now he has items. If Jace plays like this, I sense that Silas is bot lane right now. Uh, ping here. I think Silas is here. I don't know, this matchup is so unplayable 1v1 if the Jace is good. Okay, that's massive, well done. This Jace is a goat with grasp. Imagine he had Conqueror. I might have to start playing this matchup with the uh, second wind and with. Uh, TP, or I need to go D blade and play aggressive level 1, because this is just not the way this matchup is supposed to go, like, I lose priority in this matchup every time now, and I just get destroyed. second win TP or if I go to setup I think I should play it more aggressive in the early game not go D shoot I should go like D blade or long 3 and trade 
Else I just slowly lose. Yeah, I gotta reinvent this matchup a bit more. But I also have a bias, maybe, because I got double weak side at this game, right? Like, I had to play two turns without my jungler, which also made the game absolutely unplayable for me. And really easy for the Jays. If I get one gank in the early game, this also completely changed how the matchup plays, so yeah. Ozzy plays it with D-Blade, Ignite, Sork, Scorch. I need to see Ozzy play the matchup, I guess. I'm just perpetually level down and items down. I can't fight. He's like 2k gold ahead of me in terms of items and levels. So this is bot lane though. We're winning there. Ah, it really sucks to lose the cannon. I just have to keep my turret, I think. Team is smurfing here, so that's good. I'm 50 CS and a full turret down, guys. That is not a good landing phase at all. I need to see what Ozzy does in this matchup. I want I want, actually want to see how he plays it. I believe Ozzy goes D blade and plays very aggressive early. And that's what I have to do as well. If I play it like this, I just slowly lose from the first four waves onwards. Because I lose priority, then I can't play the lane because he gets priority. And he crashes and pokes me. And then the wave bounces and then I can play either because I'm playing Flesh Ignite. So I need to force priority or make this a... a, a flip the matchup more, I think. He has Tavi's second item almost. He is 1k gold away from his second item. And he has Tavi's. And a Doran's item. So that is 1100 gold. He is 3k gold ahead of me or something. No bueno. What are the enemies even doing though? I can't finish it. I didn't even get to kill the other guy. That's a crazy play. Jay's not paying attention, but... Tristana's also coming from here. That was interesting. Is he gonna go into bot? I don't think so, no. Okay, then I'll go mid. But... Bot. Yeah, he's too full items. I don't know. I'm a peasant this game. It's been a playable game. Start to finish. Yeah, El Tormi, you can pair me for that. What a disgusting game to play. Just on a J sideline. Falling asleep.
They can perma look for me. I'm not safe on a single wave ever. Okay. Nice. Then I can play for the start. Well, it's winner, just winner's queue, what can I say? I'm in the fattest winner's queue ever today. If I win this game somehow, but to be fair, I was weak at the whole game, right? It's fine, let him have the tier 2. They have less angles to kill me then. I mean, okay, sure. You wanna be there? He's getting a tier 2 turret, gives him another 1k there with the sideline too. Alright, I was finally able to farm some sideways. Still peasant though. It's good that Ari keeps pushing here and at least reset that side wave. Old, only a ten. I don't think we win here. Probably just on a. Bro, I can't farm anywhere, man. Some gold! They've taken all our tier 2s, I think we actually benefit from that. No, they can't get much stronger than this. So, Jay's side is not at their peaks right now. Jay's gonna be 3 items by the time that I finally finish my second, but hey, yeah, it is what it is. I'll probably go Deathstone's third. I just need to be like a tank ish. If they use buttons on me, I think it's good for my team, so. That's why I want to go Death Stance. There's also a Dragon. Yeah, he's 3 items. Why don't we do it?
that's the freest Nash ever! Why did we not do Nash? And now we fight, 45. Whatever. The guy is on us. I don't understand why we did not do Nash. Whatever. Yeah, you can pick me as much as you want. I think that was a free Nash. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll look at replay. I could be the griefer here too. Although the more time I stall them, especially somebody like Tristana, the easier this. Like Cyrus was on Dragon, Tristana and Brown were on me, so it was only Zeri and Jace. Surely my team can four man Nasher there. Can we actually escape sort of goat? I am like confident my team could have done Nasher. If I fight this area here, I don't just send our Jace with TP on me. Yes, I knew I was on the ward. They had vision on me, but I was distracting them consciously. They had a plant on me. Well, I'm just gonna go over my team and hope for the best. Guess I won't matter. Prom should block my ult, should have ulted faster. Lots of wars, they don't get Nash. I didn't see other flushes. Could have played that fight better, probably. I mean, Silas is going to be the highest damage on me this whole game because I'm going for uh, full armor, right? I'm going to top his death stance. Dear duo, if Silas is on Dragon and Braum, Tristana, or me, that leaves only Zeri that was 1 and 5 and the Jays there to defend 4 people from Baron, one of them being Echo, one of them being Kalista and Camille. We have so high that Nashor DPS there. I'm confident we could have done Baron. Okay, it's in the past. Let's focus on now. What do you want me to do, bro? Instantly group up and not take a f single side wave? Like, fuck off, man. Oh, whatever. Shouldn't listen to a single of these guys' pings. It's so annoying to listen to these guys' pings. for this game though but i mean i just got so destroyed at level four when the silas double ganked me my game ended there i'm perpetually level behind on the jace i gotta review this game this guy's no flesh pretty sure he just one shots me though yeah. a full item behind her She's still yet to recall. Let's 
Scott is gonna farm more of my sideways because I've been able to farm a lot this game, right? Yeah. Bro, minus one there is mean, bro. This guy has four items. He needs a mole. I don't know, Ruffy McTuffy, bro. They have four items on each solo layer. I'm two items. I am peasant gaming it. Alright. I gotta review the early game for myself here. I think giving Jace priority is never good, but... Uh, I'll start running deep light and try to see if I can match or match it up better that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Coffee's Warhammer is a useless item. Two things I want to review. We have negative MMR now. I get minus twenty one plus nineteen. That blows. It's okay. I was in a higher MMR lobby than my ELO was currently anyways. Okay, so the problem that I had in this early game is you see here that Silas is doing 3 camp into bot, right? And Echo is also clearing into bot. So both junglers are ganking bot here in the early game. But look. So Silas gets the kill here on Echo. And now the question to you guys is where is Silas gonna go? Where is Echo gonna go? Echo path top into bot. Silas have top bot into top. So after this, Silas of course is gonna recall and go top side, right? And so that means I am weak sided here. And that makes it super tricky for me to play because I know I probably have to recall here, right? Because I know Silas is probably looking to dive me. You see here, Silas playing blue buff into the top. You see here, he is looking to dive me. I knew this, that he is probably looking to dive me. So I have to recall. But then by the time that I'm back, you see Echo is still bot side and he is staying bot side, he's not coming back to his top side. So Jace walks back into lane and I'm slow pushing this as slow as I can, but I can't do anything other than this. And then at the end, I have a flash and then Silas is still top side. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hard to play. I don't know. I don't think I can do much here in this scenario. And here I am very certain that we can play Nasher with what I'm doing here. Wait, Ari recall by the way. I don't know why she recalled, but we have TP. Look, we start this. Echo's ping on the way as well. We start this right now. You guys telling me we can do this, Nash? We could have been hitting it already, permanently. We could have been hitting it. Ari also recalled for no reason. Calista could be hitting it. You see here, there's four people here. Brown, Chisana on me, Zeri, Silas are on Dragon. You're telling me that this Jace can stop a Baron against four people? Now they chase me. We could have been hitting Baron here permanently. And they're chasing me. We had a solid 20 to 30 seconds to do Nasher here. Now they start moving. So how long was that? Can't get a prior into the age. We don't need the prior. They, we have full vision here. We also have two sweepers even. Look, we can start the Baron right here. Right here, my Echo Pigs to go for it. We see four people here. We see them with the plant. I spotted them. We see all of them. I know they spot me. I, I I thought my teammate started Nesha. I also saw the pings by the echo. I thought 2049, that's five seconds ago, they could have started it. 2049, we could have done it. Now they start moving. About 20 seconds later, I think that was enough to take the Nesha. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I think we take it very fast with how strong my team is. Alternative option would just be to play with my team and play into here. So maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. 
Yeah, I don't know. I thought we would start as well, by the way. Yeah, Natty, that's what I thought too. I think what I did here is not bad. With the it, with the intention that you guys were gonna do Nash. I thought I'm stalling time here. You guys just get Nash, and it, it's like super solid. But now when we don't do it, it just looks super int. Bro, I I, I played horrible, uh, Natty. No, no worries for you. Have, you have nothing to apologize for. I was the inter. No biggie, bro. I just think uh, what happened is when you path bot, right? And I'm weak side at top. And uh, then you have to go to your bot side camps. And Silas comes to his top side camps. He threatens the dive. I have to recall. And then on the bounce, he's still there at minute five. I just can't play the game. And then I'm like a full level down. And there's like no way for me to really get back in the game. After that, it was too hard. I was too far behind. Yeah, I don't know. Tricky game. Tricky, tricky game. <clears throat> was well played by them don't you want to look at the matchup into jays i mean sure i can search up ozzy's open gg i guess uh... what does he do into jays i mean surely in korea you play against jays every now and then <clears throat> What is he doing to Cannon? He goes Deep Blade, Second Wind, Tenacity, Double here. I guess also any. Yeah, he probably also tries to flip it, by the way. That's probably what he tried to do this. Okay, but this, okay, his bolt is 1 in 14. <laughs> Never mind. He seems to still take Ignite over Teleport. I don't see a single game into uh, Jace. A single game into Jace recently. Does he ban it? No way, right? Same setup here into Cannon. Goes D Blade. I can try it. I mean, he killed the cannon here because he got longsword level 2, so he must have killed the cannon. He must have gotten something in the early game. I would like to see this replay. He already played it. Huh. He's 3 and 7, he's 10th. The Jace is 1 and 6, but his kindred is like full full being chilling. I see, yeah, so okay, but bro. He he recalled level 3 with a with a with with a, with a potion. So I assumed he all in, right? My assumption is he all in. He went horrifically wrong and he died and he had to buy a potion. That's what I'm guessing here. By the looks of it. Else you don't recall it with a just a potion at minute 3. And then a pink one at minute 4, and then a refillable at minute 5. I think he was 0-2 in the early game. Else, how do you recall at once every minute? And then he got like something, 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 blessing. This was probably a really, 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 really weird game. Here is another one. He went resolve. Second wind and Doran's blade. Interesting. Second wind, Doran's blade. I can try it. Here he killed the Jace. What what the setup did Jace have? Conquer inspiration. One and fourteen. Holy shit, that guy sprinted the whole game. One and fourteen into ribbon. Oh. And this guy had Conquer Resolve. Conquer Inspiration as well. Oh, are you learning a spear shot? What is their draft, bro? I mean our draft is pretty disgusting too, but what is their draft? They have Pantheon Talia, Alistar Talia. Only my Corky is chilling into Talia Azir, I think. 
But my Nod is also filled. I mean, playing it through Pantheon, it's like one of those lane bullies where you're not going to be able to play the game. And so when you take it to Pantheon, you, you play Trade Avoidant the entire laning phase, by the way. It's probably Spear Shot. And so you, you, you take second win this, and I need to nest into enemy draft, so I have to run this. And I take this, and we're scaling. See, I could go for like the Flesh Ignite setup and go like more aggressive, but it just simply doesn't work into Pantheon. It's similar to Urgot, similar to Rumble. I never get wave control. He has permanent Q poke, so I'm just gonna go for the scaling setup and, and, and then hope it's gonna do like this. And I will go Dora and shit, and I'll just go. And like, like my goal here in this matchup is to just farm even. If you farm even to Pantheon, you outscale him, so that's my goal here. Oh, it's not even. Oh my days. Oh no, guys, I don't wanna show it. Hmm. Well, I'm lucky that I have the setup, but it's going to be a game of suffering again. It's all right. It's all right. Another range top. We've only played against range tops and tanks today. <laughs> and one Camille. And one Camille. And one Camille. Don't forget the one Camille game, Alois. Be happy. Be happy. Smiling. Yo, Drago Frago, I'm doing amazing. Hope you're doing good yourself. Good day to be a Riven man, guys. That's not spear shot. He's like javelin toss. Yeah, it's not who a good coach is. Alois. That guy is good. Yo, side thank you for playing. A pretty top pick a day keeps the LP loss away. <laughs> thank you on your way. Music is a little loud. I mean, it's just this song that's loud, by the way. Oh. Thank you, Smear Soul. <clears throat> As your top, it's unplayable, but we just scale. Grasp as well. Trade up HP to get the priority here, guys. Because if I'm level up faster, it's gonna be easier to crash the wave here. Azir has very high mana cost on his E, so if we can ever bait out his E, he's gonna run out of mana super fast. So that's one very important detail to know about Azir. Getting a third of cash here is extremely good. I could base TP back, but I think I'll just make this way bounce back into me, get as maximum CS as I can here. And this is what the benefit is of getting priority, guys. It's gonna be easier for me to farm, because I got my level up timers faster. Now the wave will bounce. This is much better, right? This is what I had to do against Jace as well. And what I could realistically do now is reset TP back, and then Azir cannot get this bounce in, but he could try and cancel my recall. Nah, he can. He still has both potions, actually. He's healthy enough. So let's just try to maximize our gold on our reset as well here. Azir. Azir. I'm doing a fine job farming here. Second wind already healed me for 170. That is crazy, by the way. I beat 400 HP without that stupid rune. All 
guys. We're not out of mana. <gasps> sorry, 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 that was really bad. <laughs> but I got all three, I got some kill on Azir after having to play against the Jace. I had to do it, it had to happen. And that came out way too wrong, though. My bad. Yeah, that one's awkward. Anyways, very nice solo ball on the Azir, guys. Let's go. TV back. That was awkward. That was awkward. <clears throat> I got my level 6 here, but I can't really hide it. Oh, I didn't get it. Really? Alright, just one-shot me, I guess. I want to force out his E. Alois gasps satisfyingly, ah. Yep. Uh, I'm dead too. He could just wait it. There was no panic. Uh, the auto pathing brought me here. I had to path like this. All good though. The way bounced into me, so it's still good. It just sucks that Pantheon was there at the correct time. Oh, Butler is winning. Nice. Yeah, I don't like playing the full aggressive. Uh, flip gameplay into range champions. I like playing the more de-shoot TP center, playing with fundamentals play game gameplay into range champions, but it doesn't always work. But I play it very well here against the Azir. My ult should come back faster than the Azir's. He still has his flash though. Nice. Oh, that's a shutdown, right? No. I need to try and not get poked too much. He had flash, by the way. He just didn't expect so much Giga Cheddar in his face. If you block Azir's pathing, he cannot use E. That's why I just spaced with him for literally 5 seconds to get my cooldowns back. And he placed a W below me to try and think that that's the sword you will take. But I was like, nah, that's a bait. And so I didn't even walk to it. I kept walking with him. And then I instantly saw the second one. I was like, yeah, that's the one he wants to take. And I instantly chased him. The walk along is because if you block Azir's pathing, his E will get blocked. <gasps> I put the ward down so he knew I was there. I just put the ward down so he knew I was there, by the way. That's my all attention for getting that ward down. Spitting in his face. <laughs> Tilted him, I think. My cork is a giga chat. Wait, 
Why, why, what? Why was everything focused on him? That is not, that is not good what is happening in Botland, by the way. We knew Pantheon was bot, and we know who did is here. I don't know why they're making that play. It's senseless. Old. Looks like she actually gave up. Looks like he's tilted. Looks like we stomped an Azir top. Piggy. Bro, I managed to play Azir top and getting stomped. Now that is cringe. Alright, let's keep up the focus, bros. I swear, Azir top is one of the hardest matches for Riven to play, but... Uh, I think I've also really, really outplayed him because I understand how Azir skit works. I don't even know why I understand that well. But both of my solo kills have been really, really nice this game. Very happy with this game, especially after the last one against the Jays. Ooh. There's his flash finally. I knew he still had it. Do I take the foot turret? Nah, not yet. Meh. Yeah. Uh, looks like we're in the banger game now. What? My character like froze. Top laner is bad. Can you just gap close Why and bash are ranged skull? top laners bad? Can't you just gap close and bash yeah, their well, skull in close. game OFC? Eclipse and E. Do trick. He can ult me in the tower there, so I gotta be a little careful. Yeah, but let me just get close. Alistar! There's a cow with the Ruku! Here. It's not the holy cow, the cow is unholy, giving the Azir 450 shutdown. That's is not good, chat. We should have played for the turret. That's is gar nicht good. Sehr schlecht. Unfassbar schlecht. And Jinx is getting fed too. Ay, nay, nay. Yeah, bro, freeze it. Ruku. What's done? Oh. It's a mess again. And Draven is bringing the Nexus. That's always a tail sign. Okay, still no flush for one minute, and he has no ult right now. But they have Jinx Azir, that's two of the most sc scary scaling champions. They're gonna outrange the Draven super hard later on. Oh, looks like Naldis took care of the Jinx.
He can spawn his turret, I guess. But has a charge up. Really, he just got his ult there. He must have just gotten his ult there, by the way. He must have just gotten his ult there. Like, that is so unlucky. Hey, 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 Udir, are you like blind? We don't see this? Okay, no, no, I didn't see it either. I mean, I mean. Uh... Oh, I guess he saw something more. Two for one. Okay, my bad. I wasn't familiar with your game. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I apologize. Three even? How dare I think that my Udo to go to top lane there? I am sorry. Uh, how did Azir get his ult back at the same time as me when I have 50 haste? I had 53 haste in that skirmish. He has zero haste. Surely his ult is not a minute cooldown, right? At rank... One? I also had rank two ult there. I'm not sure. We ulted at the same time as well, right? Or did I ult earlier before? Like later. I can't even remember. I'm surprised he had it. I guess I maybe had my ultimate up already for a while and his just came back. I think that's what happened. Yes, it's just that's what happened. And there's four people mid and one person bot. Azir has one HP. Okay, Talia is running it by the looks of it. As got another shutdown, he's actually back in the game now. Also because I gave him a shutdown. He keeps getting away with 1 HP. I'm doing a tier 2 tier 2 tier, so we're fine. He's saying Pantheon is boosted, but he's 9, 3, and 8. Okay. Uh, salute to Corky. Nah, but his eyes are actually getting so fat now. Same with Jinx. We can honorably lose this game. Corky package. 30 seconds for dragons. That's probably what we just play for. Oh, there's a package. This game started good, but I mean, we're fine. I just go profane and we'll watch some piggies. That's nice. Probably didn't have to ult. Okay. What did I translate this to? I think my team gets dragon now without me, so I moved up to push out the side wave. When a neutral objective is already secured, it's better to just do something else. Why was Azir even there though? Like, what is happening this game? Weird. Very weird. Goodbye, Cannon. Tell you only one and a half item. Might be one game where Maul. Okay, Jinx is two items now as well. They could look for me now. I mean, Alistar is bolt. Okay, I'll push the side by. It might be a little greedy, but if Alistar is bolt, then I think there's enough time for me to do it. My initial instinct was correct to not go for it. I'm a pig. I deserve to die. GG. I'll go for this instead now. Still greedy to go for uh, the other item. Look, greedy boy! With the first time message to say, Hello, Bogos. Yeah, I am a greedy boy. You're right. That side was a juicer. I knew I shouldn't have gone for it. I mean, there's a bot tier 2 to play for, and other than that, there's Nash in 1 minute to play for, so let's see what we do here. 
I have TP, there's a ward here. But who there's farming golems? Let's not do it. I have TP. This one's not the fight. We get Nash from this as well. Flash as well. Fix the sideways. I have item in base. Korg is resetting. We're all coming from the map, so I'll reset as well to sync with my team. Alright, flash in one minute, so then it's gonna be way easier to play the team fights. Talia and Elastar are complete. Cook blocks for me. James Flash had fight, right? I don't have TP yet. Azira Zonias. Nobody's defending this? Hello? What? What's this game? Do I go mall? It's probably not bad. Mall death stance, and I'm like untouchable, right? I'll go this first. Really pig. Actually, Sterox. Shit, Sterox is the angle. Sterox is so good here. Gives me opportunity against both. And Tenacity. Can be good, he doesn't have flesh though, so he might be dead. And Jinx is a reset. Can I move? I got the Jinx. And I think I did enough damage to the rest. Okay. We can get Soul as well with the Nasher probably. I mean, they're not gonna wait for me most likely. And the L stands for the Nellens. I mean, Emijong is alive. Emijong was dead. So is Raven. Wait, the Baron buffs! He died because Baron is buffed. Baron has been buffed, by the way. That's why he died. Unironically. GG. You know what's crazy? I've barely seen this Udi this game. No? I'm bugging. Jinx is a reset. We get Cloud Soul on Udir. That is nasty. And on the core key. Cloud Soul on two champs that can perma proc it. About to go hard. What's the song? Survivor. Bro, the movement speed is crazy with this one. I have 450 movement speed, man. That's crazy. Look how fast I am. 480? Why? 
Is it because I'm out of combat? Bro, 480 is super stupid. Yeah, it's out of combat, it's higher. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My the dragon makes me so fast! Nah, the soul is so unbalanced. I forgot about it, I just broke all the run away. Mad? I am mad. Nah, this dragon. You know Cloud Soul's the highest win rate? That is exactly why. Legit. That I live, that is so ridiculous. Get a bros. I'm uh, I'm one of the bros. Get him! Raven almost swapped off. Uh, meanwhile, also in the bot lane. What a banger. Do I have enough time for this? Probably not. Uh, we're pretty close to Challenger King Top. We have plus 19, minus 21 now, though. The MMR has gone away, unfortunately. Vessel for Riven? There's a lot of good ones. I think, I mean, almost, actually every soul is good for Riven. Yeah, I, every soul is good for Riven. Genuinely. Yep. If anybody flames my wallop, I'm Andy permabending. Gandhi, thank you for the primer, bro. Less than three, best teacher, less than three. Thank you so much for your kindness. Oh, shit, what? They see me now. Whoa. This guy gets my honor after the game. In the past, you were able to honor enemies, I would give this guy the honor. <clears throat> Thank you, Alistar. Thank you, Mr. Alistar. This guy is one behind every game we head into the Alright plus 20, we're 8.15, so we're three wins from Challenger. But I'm a little tired now, guys. It's 10 p.m. Five and a half hours in a full challenger games. That makes a man tired. So I think we can call it here. Tomorrow back with fresh content. Um, we did a Patreon down, so if you're curious on that, it's in the stream vote. But I will also have it as a YouTuber later on. Other than that, uh, it's no game bad night. It's chill day. All right, guys. Uh, enjoy the remainder of your evening. Thank you guys for the subs. Thank you for 70 subs. Holy thank you for 76 sub. Don Rom, thank you for another five. Kimura, I apologize, boss man. Don't end. This is bribery. That is bribery. But I can win it on a... I can end it on a W now. Nah, I'm gonna call it, bro. I'm tired. Tomorrow we'll get to Challenger. Tomorrow we get to Challenger, okay? We're three wins already. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the 76 subs. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the generosity. Um, no, sorry, guys. I, I'll, be, I'll be back tomorrow. One more, one more. 
Okay, whatever. We'll play one more. We'll make it six hours. Okay, we'll do one more. If I go to bed on a loss now, it's my own responsibility. Okay, we'll do one more. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. It's like, Mom, can I please stay outside for one more hour? That's what it is like right now. Mom, let me stay outside for one more hour, please. No, uh, Joforex, it's okay. Joforex, it's okay. If you lose, I give five more to not end on those. It's okay, bro. No, it's my own responsibility. I choose now. I choose now. It's okay. We'll play one more. We'll play one more. Joe for next, we're gonna win this one, okay? And if I lose, it's my own responsibility. Crystal Dog. I'm not doing solo coaching right now, boss. I would highly, highly recommend you check out both of my courses. They will help you out tremendously. But honestly, guys, I'm so tired and I still need to eat dinner. No, guys, guys, I, I, I gotta keep it smart here. I gotta keep it smart. I, I actually, I actually am gonna go sign out. I'm sorry. It's 10 p.m. If I, if I play one more, it's gonna be 10:30. If I then eat dinner, it's gonna be really bad for my sleeping. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be smart here. If I eat now, it's still okay. Okay. If I eat now, it's still okay. Sorry, guys. I am going to actually finish it here because else my entire faker underscore schedule. nl faker underscore 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 nl. <sighs> Leave, I don't want to watch you anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, I have to get I have to get dinner. Okay, guys, we're gonna raid some other homie. I think Hamza just started the stream, so we'll give him a raid. And thank you for all the subs, thank you for all the gifters, thank you for all the uh bits, thank you for all the support, guys. We're back tomorrow, but I want to maintain healthy, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you guys for your support, and we're raiding Hamza. Okay, let's go over there. Sorry guys, see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one, Chief.